Hey, reporting live from Bahia. Just about to go to the beach. We've got a very organized and planned out live stream for you today. We've got our list here of things we're gonna talk about. We are attempting to level up our live stream skills. With the bomb. But before we go to the beach, we wanna show you our apartment because it was so kindly offered to us by a lovely subscriber named Vanessa. So let me spin the camera around and show you what we got going on here. As you can see, it has a very homey feel. Uh, we got our TV over here. Okay. We got the couch over here. Okay. Muito bom. Muito bom. And some big uh, stuff on the wall. Okay. Very nice. Comes with full kitchen. And what's nice about this place is it's like proper full kitchen. Like uh, dishes and even salt and pepper. Live in ready. Even with a washing machine that is very... Quiet and good. Muito bom, washing machine. Our Here's our bedroom, which, oh, we made it look not so good. Hold on, redo, redo. Okay, okay, take two, take two. <laughs> okay, okay, back to the door. Okay, here's our bedroom, so nice. Ooh, very inviting. And not to mention, uh, we have this area to ourselves. This is like private Shuhasco area, private patio. A little bit of a kitchen. There's a barbecue grill down here we can grab if we want to. And nice place to chill. Nice place. So we wanted to show you guys this. Uh, it is listed on Airbnb. If you're coming to Bahia, we are in uh, Flamengo Beach. Yay. The beach is right there. The beach is so close that this place actually comes with outdoor shower. So we've got a uh, place to wash the sand off your feet. We can jump out here and go right to the beach. So anyway, we wanted to show you because big shout out to Vanessa. And you'll you'll see her in some upcoming videos which are filmed but not edited. Muito bom. Okay, I think we'll go now to the beach. I think we'll walk around for a bit and talk to you guys and be free. And then we will get to the list. Like Florence says, uh, like a German, very organized. Because our idea is after we do our list, we can put some timestamps in the live stream to increase rewatch value. Wait a long. Okay guys, let me put you here for a sec. We're gonna fire up our sandals and we're gonna get ready and then we're gonna go to the beach. It's literally, how far is the beach? 100 meters, 150 meters? Right in front of us. It's right in front of us. So everything is going very well in Bahia. Let me close the doors and we'll Door, go. lock it up. Yeah, yeah. Who's on the chat right now? Hello, 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 hello guys. How are you guys doing? How is your Sunday so far? Sure. I guess some of them, some of you guys are going into the night. Oh yeah, true. Yes. All right. So let's, hello, Florin. How are you? Diane Greg, Tucano, Kezo, Marius, Denise D finishes. Hello, 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 hello. Guys, how are you? Muito Let me just. Can you change it? How do I change it to the daylight? Oh, we must get off the Wi-Fi as we leave the apartment. Uh, let me switch it up. I think we can do this without the live stream going wrong. Oh, we are living in the future. 130 in the chat. Let's see how well we can do today. We will freestyle on the beach and talk to you guys. Then we will sit down and do our list. Don't forget the list. Uh, four categories here. I can do a sneak preview of what's coming. <laughs> Uh, so I am family. That's week in review. Obviously. But yeah, that's where we are now. Your questions that came in. Muy de bon. And then what's upcoming? Future. Future plans. Past, present, questions, future. Woo! All right, let's go. Muy de bon. Thoughts on Bahia so far? Uh, you, we will do a section on this. Um, it's been really nice. We've been amazed that we... Um, it, it was an incredible experience to get dropped off at the airport by my family, say yes. goodbye to everybody, like leaving your family, fly for two hours, and get picked up at the airport by Vanessa. Yeah. It was like, we are officially Brazilian. We got friends in every <laughs> state, baby. So our impression of Bahia is very good because we're with locals, and Vanessa has a real passion for uh, Salvador. She knows everything, and she is taking us around, doing a great job. You'll see her in upcoming videos. We are doing well. There's the key there. Okay, ready to rock. But yeah, thoughts on Bahia so far? Muito bom. Uh, muito bom.
Very nice place. Very slow. One thing we notice is it's, it's a bit slow in Bahia. So we're trying to get accustomed to the speed of Bahia. Okay, let's go. Moi, to, bon. You taking that? Okay, go ahead. Moi, to, to, bon. All right, let's go for a little walk around the corner to go to the beach. Ooh, it's so hot today. Oh, yeah. Super hot. Super hot. Oh my god. Do you have any cash on you? Yes. Good, cash is good. Okay. Why? Because you can't oh, hear your phone. Oh, that's right. The phone today is not going to work because the phone is... Uh, Bahia, someone is saying Bahia should be Muito Boa. Muito Boa? Oh, yeah. Bahia is female place. Oh, okay, okay. Because Bahia, Bahia ends in A, therefore it's feminine, therefore it's Muito Boa. Mm. Oh my gosh. It is so bright and hot. <laughs> oh, <it's crazy. gasps> so usually we do our live stream at like noon, but we thought it would be too hot, so we did yeah. 3 p.m. Yeah, and it's mean, still hot. It's still hot. I think right? it's better than before though. Yeah, yeah, I think it'll cool down in an hour or so. But okay. It's hot over here. Nice sun. How is the weather in Romania? Because it is cooking hot. Is it snowing there? I know it's the winter time. Okay, here. We yeah, can, it's amazing uh, that it's uh, it's amazing that it's January, because it feels like oh my gosh August. Okay, let's see you guys where we are going. Show you guys where we're going. So this is our place on the left, and this is our beach. It's literally right here. This, apparently this place, Pipa, is very good, but we've never been. It's almost like a res club. resort club, yeah, beach club, where they've got like some nice decorations inside. But the beach itself has tons of action, sort of typical for Brazil. It's got tons of people doing tons of sports and bars and cool stuff. So we can go wander along the beach. Let's see if we make it more than four minutes before someone says, hey, put your phone away. Remember last time? Yeah. Oh, my phone. But uh, I think we'll, I think we'll do better this time because um, we've been hanging out here a couple couple days and it's been pretty good. Yeah, people's got a line there and they got the music playing. This is a party. Oh, new member! Shout out to dun, 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 Vlad. Hello, Vlad. Vlad Sabi. Thanks for joining. When we welcome get welcome to the Jet Fam. Welcome to the Jet Fam. When we get our drinks flowing, we'll do a Norok for you or a Saudi for you. Welcome to the crew, Vlad. We're doing pretty good for our members. We're over 700 members, which is like, wow, we really did something. Yeah. Now, most of them are gifted from Santa, but still, oh, uh, so nice to do six months that. ago, we had like 25 members or something. So we are really growing. You guys can hear the That's music amazing. pumping. And what a place to be right now. Oh my gosh, nice looking beach, no? Wow, so nice. If you are a beach person, this is the place to be. I think we'll go down there in a minute. I think we'll go on the boardwalk first. Okay, we can show the sports and stuff. Yeah, nice beach, man. Very, very nice beach. Everywhere you look, people selling coconuts. By the way, Bahia coconuts are good coconuts. Let me tell you, Bahia coconuts are good coconuts. Hola, to the bang. Go and come. Obrigado, obrigado. So nice people. Uh, one thing we've noticed about Bahia is, obviously we're not experts on Portuguese, but there's a different sound of the Portuguese in Bahia. Yeah, it's more, it's more bubbly. Yeah. It's more bubbly to me as a foreigner, you know? Yeah, it's certainly different than Rio where it's oish doish and more crunchy. It's also very slow. I think they speak slow in Bahia. They say like Copacabana or something like that. They, they speak very slowly. So uh, we've been loving it so far. Here we are cruising. By the way, shout out to people. Oh my gosh, we're so far away, I can still hear the music. Uh, hello from Timisoara. Uh, here will be warm the next day, it's 15 Celsius. That's pretty good. For January in Romania, 15 Celsius, not bad. I think we're over 30 over here. Oh yeah, Cons so. Consistently over 30. Look at the beach, guys. The beach is so nice, let's take a view. The accent in the northeast is very different, slower and more melodic. Yes, it sounds it sounds even more Palmeiras! Palmeiras. So I am wearing my Palmeiras jersey. Making friends immediately. Palmeiras! Nice looking beach over here guys. And so again, big thanks to uh, Vanessa hooking us up with this apartment for a few days. 
Muito, muito, muito bom. Look at the water. Maybe get a close-up a little bit. Close-up of the water, Ivana says. Okay, maybe this view over here. Woo, muito bom. Denise D with plus 10. Hi, Woo! Denise D. We love Denise it, Denise. Thank we you so love much. it. We love it. Thank we love you. it. If you guys are trying to support us, we appreciate it so much. Uh, probably gifting memberships is the best way to do it. Mm -hmm. Because we really want to grow our uh, weekly live stream. We really enjoy doing it with you guys. And I think it sets our channel apart because uh, other people don't do it. And we do it every single week on Sunday. We haven't missed many. I think we've done like 45 out of 50 weeks in a row. Missed a few. Maybe. So this we've is been. Our 57 57 episodes. What a bomb. Thanks. Uh, Thanks, Denise. Now, I am trying to get your comments read, but let me tell you, the sun is shining and it's hard to, uh, hard to read. Oh, here's a nice little place to chill over here. Little... Uh-huh. People also bring their own charcoal grill, Ivana says, which is nice. And uh, I think this beach is super... I mean, I feel totally respectable. We're not exactly near the town of Salvador. We're sort of in a side park. Oh, skate park. Must watch. You guys know me. I'm, I love to watch skate park. Oh, let me know how the audio is doing, guys. We do have some wind. It seems like there's wind every day on this beach in the same direction. But uh, let us know. We can duck inside if it's too windy or try to reconvene and uh, figure it out a little better. Maybe over here in the skate park will be a little better. We should watch these guys. Oh yeah, they're pretty good. Oh, muito bom. Uh, I love to watch skaters. Okay, Ivana, we got wind noise problems. Yeah, that could be our next. Oh, nice, man. Okay, let me know if I stand like this, guys. How's the wind now? Maybe it's better. Oh my gosh, I love to watch skaters. So cool. <laughs> Imagine skating here right on the beach. Come on. Skate park here. Beach over there. That's nice. Uh, it's not so... Okay, facing the beach seems to pick the wind up. It's manageable. I'm saying it's not great, but it's gonna happen. It's, it's gonna be okay for a bit. What we'll do is walk down here and then go to the bar over there maybe. Cool, just bar over there? Well, let's check out these sports first, then we'll go back. What do you think, Ivana? Okay, okay. We'll go a little bit more on and then we'll curl back and sit in a bar where there's no wind and we can do our, uh, our big preparation today. We're constantly thinking of ways to level up the live stream. It's really fun and it's really nice. So let us know if you have any suggestions because we are uh, trying to do this for you guys so we can build our little Jet Fam community. I mean, what a nice place to walk. Really jump into the water. You want to jump in the water? Woo! I know, right? So nice. It's so nice. It's so beautiful and it's so nice. And I guess this is straight up open ocean. You can go straight here right to Africa. This is not uh, like a bay or anything. Because a big part of Salvador has a huge bay beside it. Uh, but this is like open ocean. This is like... Look at that. Chilling. Foo, foo. Bong. Uh, Florence says, don't you have a dead cat for the microphone? We don't have one for the phone. I'm not sure if they make a dead cat for the phone. We will look into this because it would really help. We have one for the GoPro. What we talk on usually. We will look into the um, dead cat for the iPhone. What is the name of the beach you guys are? I believe this is Flamengo Beach. Uh, yeah, or somewhere right beside it. Somewhere near Flamengo Beach. It goes on forever and ever. I did wake up this morning and go jogging. Thank you very much. At the beach? Jogging on the beach. <laughs> One hour. Yeah. Uh, I have to go early when the sun is lower so I get melted. But yeah, yeah. The beach is huge and the beach is really nice. With the bong, with the bong. Hello to everybody saying hi. Uh, it says, hey, Ivana and Steve hello, from Channel hello, Lucio. Hello, hello. Uh, hey, y'all, hey, y'all. Okay, good. The wind seems to be okay. People are cool. Oh, watch summer. Another nice little place to play sports here. Um, muy do bon. What do you say, Ivana? Go in there and, and show them how it's done. Huh? Why, why don't you go in there and show them how it's done? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, one of the questions is, are you familiar with the football rivalry between Honduras and El Salvador? I have no idea. I have no idea. Maybe something happened recently, but we didn't 
hear about it. We really don't know. Hello from BH. Hello, everybody. We got 200 in the chat. We're cruising pretty well. I think we'll stop for a cold beer pretty soon. What do you say, Vani? You want to go this way more? Or you want to uh, go back? Let's check it out. Let's check it out. And then maybe to go back, should we walk on the beach? Or... Yeah, then we can walk on the beach on the way back. Yeah, it might take long. Okay, guys, what we'll do is we'll go way up here. Turn on the beach and go back towards uh, bar back there, and we'll have a beer. Yeah. Moito bong. Moito bong. So I tell you what, Ivana, we can do the list. We can walk around and, and talk about the list right now. Very nice, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice, Ivana says. Okay, guys, let's talk about our list. I got preparations here. I want to keep the live stream a little bit more interesting. Nice looking beach, though. Come on. Shoo okay, let's hit the list. Moito bong. Let's cruise down here and see what we see. So first things we wanted to talk to you guys about was the week we just had. So we just spent the whole week with I Am Family. Let me know what you think of them based on the one video you've seen. There are more I Am Family videos coming. Let us know if you've already followed their channel, if you're Romanian, or if you discovered it. I wish YouTube had subtitles for Romanian. Because I Am Family. I Am Family can't put subtitles on their videos because they don't have the audio capacity to listen to Romanian and turn it in. Like on our videos, we just click a button and it makes subtitles for us. But on Romanian, they cannot. So let me know what you thought about I Am Family. We got some more videos coming. We learned a lot from them and we have big plans. Big changes. Um, one, I Am Family are serial property and house buyers in many different countries. They've done this over the course of 15 years. They buy something, live in it for a few years. And They have inspired us and they have encouraged us. Ivana and I are going to buy something, not this week, but we know it's possible. We gotta learn more about it first. We, we know it's possible. So we go down? I think the wind is killing it, babe. Their comments are saying the wind is too loud. Oh no, okay, maybe we should stick ah, to the bar. Okay, let's go back to this. Let's go back and chill. Why don't we just go to the bar right here? The bar's right here. It's, it's better, I think. Okay, I just shot my shot with my uh, with my big. Oh, you know what it is? The microphone's over here. So this is bad, and this is good, Ivana. I think it's okay like this because the microphone's on this side of the phone. Do you want to sit at the beach or do you want to sit at the bar bar inside? I think we'll sit in the bar. The beach is gonna be crazy windy. Okay, sure. Let's go down later. Okay, let's go to a place. All right, we are gonna uh, reconvene, and I'll tell you my all my stories that I'm prepared to tell you in a few minutes. Uh, I think we picked up a new member. Shout out to. Uh, KGFA06. Thank you for joining, brother or sister. Uh, we're slowly going up in terms of members. We are really trying to focus on you guys and do something nice every Sunday. I forgot to bring us the charger. Oh, we can go back. No, it's okay, Ivana. We won't, go, we won't go for so long. No problem, guys. There should be a bar up here on the left, and then uh, we'll get out of the wind. I think we'll have to invest in uh, wind. The image is quite good, but the audio is not so good. Stabilizer? Much wind, much wind. The stabilizer is good for the image, but it's not so good for the audio. Anyway, we can admire the beauty of the beach together. Very windy, very windy. Oh, gush. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, let's go to the bar so that we can hear. Shout out to our new members. Yeah, let's go to the bar there. Should be five minutes away, and then we can do our big... Uh, talk with you guys, have some drinks, and live life to the fullest. Let us know uh, how your week was, because we're going to talk about our week we just had, and we're going to talk about our week coming up. You can let us know what you're up to in your life and what you're thinking about doing. Yvonne and I had an amazing time with I Am Family. Oh yeah, super. Super. Uh, doors were opened and we're going to do some things. <laughs> We feel confident about uh, moving forward into this life because they're traveling with kids and they're sort of pros. So we got inspired. But I'll tell you more when uh, the wind goes away. Have you guys tried Vatapa, Karuru, Mokeka, and other typical Bayan foods? We've tried one which is called uh, Akaraje. We gotta make a video. 
we got to make a video about it. We will do a whole uh, food video of Bayan Foods coming soon. Oh, nice beach with the grass in front or the plants in front. Oh, look at this massive cactus. This is a nice looking beach, no? Huge cactus and then a beach behind it. Just nice. Just nice. I swear Brazil is the land of the beaches, man. Always action on the beaches, always people partying, always people playing sports. Churrasco. Churrasco on the beach. Just nice. Just nice. Muito bom. Okay, good, Ivana. We're picking up two members so far. And we're... Uh, oh, right around the board. You want to go there? Mm, I think this is like a... I think this is like a resort or something. The one's just up here. It's right on the strip and it's got some glass windows so we can still see the beach. I saw it when I was jogging. Yeah, I think we'll have to invest in some wind protection because the beach is just is just wind central, especially this beach we're on. It's always the same direction and it's pretty steady. Nice looking beach though. Yeah, the sun is strong and the wind is strong. Everybody is out here about jamming out. Okay, this is a bit of a bummer. The wind is killing it. Okay, they still can hear you. They still can hear us. Also, Bahia is the same state with the biggest coastline in Brazil. Oh, true. Yeah, we've been learning a lot about Bahia. There's tons to do in Bahia. There's so much history around. It's the birthplace of, let me say this right, it's the birthplace of uh, Samba, Carnival, and Capoeira. So it really is uh, the birthplace of a lot of things that are Brazilian. So what Ivana and I will start doing is look for these opportunities, uh, these signs that say Vende. It means for sale. This one here is for like a condo building, so it's not going to happen. But we will... Basically every country we'll go, just keep looking at for sale signs and calling them and uh, eventually buy something. Oh, we've got a lot to tell you guys. We're, we're pretty excited to tell you. It felt like the timing was so good, you know? We met I Am Family. We've been thinking about how we're gonna do this in the future. And then we met I Am Family, the timing was so good. We've got a lot to tell you. We're quite excited for this live stream. But let us get out of the wind because uh, as somebody just said in the chat, a uh, good day for extra cold beer. Muito bom. Absolutely right. Yeah. We've got to get uh, inside and... Oh, they're guessing the news is Yvonne is pregnant. No, the news is not. Listen. What the, did you say? The, I said we got good news. They're excited and things are going well. What's the good news? And they're like, Yvonne is pregnant. I don't even know. <laughs> no, no, that Yvonne is not pregnant. Good news, not so yet, not know. yet. Anyway, the bar is just right here. We'll jump inside and we'll sit and we will... Uh, live our lives to the fullest but anyway as you can see this beach goes on forever and ever and it's full of umbrellas and full of people chilling and it's quiet and safe and clean and fantastic I should say muito boa. Muito, muito boa. I think they got music at the bar which is not surprising but we'll just find a quieter spot and do what we can muito, muito, muito boa. No Mitch on the way. Not yet. Not yet. Mitch is coming. The son named Mitch, he's coming. Or maybe a daughter first. We'll see. But uh, in the end, that's not the news. We don't have any uh, big, huge news. But it has uh, been a good week. It has been a good week. Yeah, let's go chill here, Ivana. This is a nice little place. We can sit somewhere away from the other speaker and chill with them. Live music and just nice. I'm not sure if it's live. It sounds kind of live. Oh, yeah, it is. Let's jump in here. Oh, yeah, she's singing. Oh, just great, Ivana. Just a nice little bar, no? Fantastic. Okay, let's go there. We're going to Manuelos or Me Memelucos. Oh, I just realized, Ivana. I forgot the backpack. We'll have to carry home the uh, stabilizer in my hand. You say bring a backpack. Okay, no problem. Anyway, let's go uh, have a beer, guys. Here we are. Hopefully it's not full. Maybe it's full. Oh. It's a 
Ja. See a table? Maybe there. Let's go there. Let's go. Shout out to her. Okay. Okay. Now I don't know if you guys can hear us. Let us know if you can hear us. <laughs> we got out of the wind and the audio is worse. Let us know if you can hear us. <laughs> audio okay or no okay? Audio okay or no okay? <laughs> Let us know guys. Audio is A. Okay, you can hear us. I feel like I feel like you can't hear us. But well, you say you can. This is good news. I guess this is better than the windows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sound is okay. Sound is okay. Good, good, good. Can chill. By the way, check out the bar. Nice place to chill. With some live music just behind the pole. Nice place to chill, man. And people all around. Uh, if you can hear me well, the music is a nice touch. So I'm not uh, complaining. Okay, let's start. Or let's do a pen. No. Darn, I forgot the pen. Okay. Time to talk to you about the week we just had. Introducing our preparation. So, we had an amazing time with I Am Family. You guys saw I Am Family. They are a Romanian family that's been on the road for like 15 years. They lived in Portugal, they lived in Bulgaria, I think. They were around South America and now they're living in Brazil. So it's amazing timing because Ivana and I were thinking about having kids and buying property and doing all this stuff and I Am Family is like the best of that. This is their whole life for like 15 years. The first thing we asked them is traveling with kids hard. Very easy. They're so natural at it. They're very easy going. They're kind of like hippies. They're so cool. And they're good at traveling with kids. And one thing they do is they consistently buy property. They've done this many times in many different countries. So Ivana and I are now looking to buy property. Will it be Brazil? Will it be Romania? Will it be somewhere else? We don't know. But the idea is, every time you see a for sale sign, you just call it and you ask. And they told us some questions to ask, they told us some things to look for. They told us that uh, if you're going to put it on Airbnb or something, you've got to find someone to look after it. They kind of gave us a good blueprint of how to do it. Yeah. So anyway, big news, we are looking for places to buy. Every time we see a for sale sign, we're going to call it. Super nerd. Even though I met them, still super nervous. Uh, Ivana may like to drink Capi Vodka. Yeah, she likes Capi Vodka better. It's less strong. Less strong. Capi Reina, uh, super strong. So what do you guys think about us buying property? Let us know which country you want to see. Let us know if you'll watch our channel. Because one of the factors is uh, our channel will change. When we buy a place, we might have to build, we might have to renovate, we might have to live there for a while. Um, the channel will change a little bit for a short term yeah. into like a house building, Airbnb building channel and then we'll get on the road again. Yeah. Let us know if you'll still follow. We have had some nice comments saying, yo, we like you guys, we'll watch whatever you do. But we're still nervous to buy something because you can't just buy it and open it, open it the next day. There's lots of work to do. True. So we're thinking of filming the whole renovation and stuff. Uh, this is our idea. This is another reason we really want to grow our memberships. Yeah. Because if we have a core audience that will follow us, it's very helpful compared to struggling for local views every month or every two months, new country. That's right, that's right. So anyway, this is our big news. And yeah. it's all thanks to I Am Family. Big shout out to them. It was so nice to see them. We wish we could stay longer, but we're on the go. Yes. So we had a very sad scene at the airport. We were like, uh, Goodbye, I miss you, oh my god! It's so funny, because we've only been with them for a week, and they're friends. But, 
quite close quite quickly yeah, yeah. they're very uh, uh, open and they're very friendly right, people right. Uh, someone is saying this music is typical Bahia music called Ashe Ashe oh Ashe is peace no? I think so Ashe peace Ashe new member new member Ashe. new member hey Marcos, Marcos Paulo Teixeira Calda, Calda. Soon. Yeah. Uh, so that was our first section we wanted to tell you about I Am Family. We spent a week with them, it was amazing, and we learned so much, and we feel reinvigorated. We feel recharged, and we feel like it's definitely possible. Yes. We met our three kids, we spent a lot of time with our kids, they have a good family, they have nice children, it's nice. I saw their life and I said, okay, okay, this is our goal. Now we have a blueprint, you know? We won't be exactly like them, but we have a, a better image in our head. It was very blurry before, you know? Uh-oh, donation. Thank you very much, thank you very much. Liz, thank you so much. We will do a Saoji for the donation yes, coming soon. thank you. I'll try to order a beer coming soon. Maybe you could get a nice little house near a Romanian village. Oh, near that Romanian village. Yeah, so we've also thought about doing it near them. We're not gonna buy something this week, to be honest, guys. It might take a whole year or more. But we now feel confident. Uh, Bahia looks really nice. Romania it looks really nice. The price matters. We're not rich, but we feel yes. like we can do it. So it was a big uh, mental door to go through. Norok, Norok. Thank Shout you, out to Florin. You want to get a beer? Okay, we're welcome. Get some drinks coming soon. So thanks for all your support, everybody. We're coming up to 300 people in the chat, and we've only done one of our four sections. Woo! Live stream, uh, it's extraordinary. In Bahia, Kapi Vodka, they call it Kapi Roshka. Roshka. Uh, I'm gonna order Kapuzi Roshka. Kapuzi Roshka. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna go for a classic beer. Granji Cerveja. That village looks like a perfect place to raise your baby Mitch. Granja is a Bohemia. 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 Granja. Menu, no. Menu. Okay, what menu? You have Kapuzi Roska? Kapuzi Roska? Roska? Kapuzi. Kapuzi. No. Strawberry, uh, kiwi, uh -huh. pineapple. Mix kiwi pineapple. Thank you. Obrigado. Obrigado. Muito bom. All right, we've got some drinks coming. Another member, we will do a cheers for you. Uh, yeah, Michi Mura says that village looks like a perfect place to raise kids. It's so nice because the people we met, I am family and a bunch of other people, they're sort of like locals. They speak Portuguese and they're like locals. Obrigado. And so we could plug ourselves into that community, but also I'd like to do our own thing and go around and think about this idea a little more. Yeah. You know, I don't want to buy the first place I see. I've been following you guys for a while now and you're in my town. That's awesome. If you want any tips, I'm here to give you guys some cool places to go. Oh, thank Thanks, you, Marcos. Marcos. We'll be in Salvador for some more time, another week or something. And, okay, second second topic. Second, hey, it's Vanessa. Vanessa! It's Vanessa! Our friend! It's Vanessa! Our friend who we were going around with and who gave us the Airbnb. Shout out to Vanessa. Everybody say welcome, Vanessa. This is our friend. Hey, I uh, just ordered Vanessa's favorite cup of vodka. Kiwi and pineapple, so I'm gonna we'll try it. Good. Yeah. Shout out to Vanessa. Let's all give Vanessa a lovely Jet Fam welcome. Shout out to Vanessa. It was really an amazing experience to leave uh, Ilieus from all of our friends saying goodbye to us and then land in Salvador and Vanessa picked us up. It was like from friends to friends on a two hour flight. It was really something nice. Shout out to Vanessa. Now, second order of business. 
talking about Bahia. First things first, let us know what your impression is of Bahia and let us know any recommendations you have for Bahia. We're gonna stay a while in Salvador, at least another week, because we like Salvador. Up till Thursday and then we have to go to Aracaju to extend our visa. Okay, so we're which staying. Which hopefully we'll get it. I tried to get an appointment in Salvador, but I couldn't, so we have to go to Aracaju to get a, an appointment to extend our uh -huh. visa. We're working on our visa. Yeah. Now, in terms of Bahia, we had an amazing experience with I Am Family, and Salvador is like incredible place for tourism. We went around Salvador a little bit. The history is incredible. The 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 like culture. The, 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 vibrance of the culture. Yeah. It's so vivid, it's so loud, it's so dancing, it's so happy, it's so smiling, it's so beach. It's just a, it's just a great place. Um, we sort of fell in love with Salvador like right away. Yeah. And in Bahia all together. So rich in culture, you know. Zaki says, this is like a news bulletin. Proper agenda and everything. I better sit straight up. Yes, <laughs> Zaki, tuck in your shirt, Zaki. This is very formal, okay? But um, some of the things we noticed about Bahia, it's definitely true that everything is in slow motion. We noticed the language, the way they speak is in slow motion. At the grocery store when they put the groceries in a bag, it's slow motion. Uh, you guys saw the video from yesterday where we ordered water and it took 45 minutes. And the whole process so slow and so uh, like relaxed. Uh, Yuri is asking, are you guys moving to Brazil? We don't know. We're definitely going to start buying property and building places or buy something that's already built. Uh, we don't know if we're going to live in Brazil forever, but we met friends who do this and we think we can do it. Stay tuned to find out, is all I can say. Um, guys, my mom has got an Airbnb right by the beach in Salvador. Good parks, good restaurants. The name yes. is Chris Prime Beach Residence. There you go. We'll Good put, promotion. We'll put the Airbnb link on our description and also on our pinned comment. You guys saw the place. You yeah. saw how close it is to the beach. And one important thing is it's ready to move in. It's got all the stuff you need. Yes. Sometimes we go to Airbnbs and there's like two plates and one fork. This place is fully furnished. It's got a churrasco grill you can use. It's got lawn chairs for the beach. I should say beach chairs. Uh, it's really good Airbnb. Yeah, One five of the best stars. Five star Airbnb. Yeah, five Six stars. star Airbnb. It's really, really good. Obrigado, obrigado. 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 Okay, Saudi, Saudi. Yeah, Virginia, for the bunk. Saudi to all of our new members. Saudi to all of our donors. Saudi to everyone uh, in the chat. Yes, Saudi. Obrigado. Muito bom. Obrigado. Norok, norok, Saudi, Saudi. Cheers, cheers. Sanatate. Woohoo! Now, as a short side story about Bahia. We have had acarajé many times, a few times now. It is beans that are turned into like bread, like bean flour. That's uh, fried. Oh, oh, we missed super chat from Bruno. Sorry, Bruno. Thank you for reminding us. We missed super chat from Bruno right here. Oh, guys, you gotta check out the nightlife of Salvador, which is awesome during the summer. Timbalada. Tonight, Melior, Segunda Freira, Feira, tomorrow this place, and this place Wednesday. Okay, wow. maybe we will do a nightlife vlog. I can't promise we'll do a vlog, but we will go do it. We'll go do the nightlife. Uh, the thing about the vlog is it's hard to make because it's dark, and I feel awkward in a party filming. <laughs> I feel like someone's gonna say, what are you doing? Probably not, they're probably more understanding than I might suspect. But there's people dancing, there's kind of young, good looking people and I'm filming it. I feel so creepy. <laughs> but we will, we will do it. Brazil, they're okay. They're probably okay. Maybe just use the phone and they, they just think you're taking a video or something. But thank you very much for the recommendation. And thank you very much for the super chat. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Um, in terms of Akarajé, the food I was talking about, uh, we're going to make a whole Bahia food vlog. Yeah. It's got really unique food. 
things that we've never tried before. I still don't really know what is dende oil. We're learning about dende oil. It's a certain type of palm tree that has oil. That it's, it's orange. It's orange and it's not super useful. For a lot of things, it doesn't work. You mean? Dende oil. What do you mean by super useful? Like you can't just use it as a replacement for olive oil. That's my understanding. If you took like a normal food that you would make with olive oil and just put dende oil, it might not work. But certain things it does work for. So, uh, so we've got a whole food vlog coming of Bahia food. I will tell you that akarache is like this bean bread thing. It tastes really good. But it is, I'm gonna save you the details, but it's all beans, okay? We'll do another reaction. You guys have to watch. First time trying again. <laughs> you guys know my stomach is not so strong. It's all beans, okay? It's got the full force of a, a big serving of beans. But uh, it's really delicious. Especially one we tried in El Yeus was akarajé with okra paste. They turn okra or ladyfinger into like a cream and they put it with the akarajé. So good. So good. Yo, by the way, this lady's singing so well. Singing good, right? Ah, lambada, lambada. The chat is the chat saying lambada, lambada, lambada. Uh, yeah, dendi oil is used for specific foods only. It's still very good, but it's used for specific things. And outside of Bahia, I don't think anyone is using dendi. So we really want to do a vlog sort Pacific, of about uh, dendi. Uh, nice comment here. Guys, the idea of creating an Airbnb business and planning for life is really awesome. I'm glad that you met that family who can help you out with this. Will be a great idea for the channel too. Yeah. This is like how YouTube seems to work. We sort of put out these ideas and then it comes back to us. Maybe it's how life works in general. We sort of had this mindset of like, okay, we want to do the next step, but we're nervous to do it. And then we met someone who's doing it and they're going to be our guiding light. You hear that? I am family. I want to be just like you when I grow up. <laughs> So it's, it was a nice thing to meet them, really. Yes. Classic Lambada song from the 80s. Uh -huh. It's famous now. Da, 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 da. Lauren, come. Come here. Come I have a like drink, drink with us, no rock. Yeah. Woo! Oh, it's a bong. Yo, she's doing a really great job. She's sort of behind the pole in this image, but she's doing a great job. Who's a bong? Uh, Florence says he wants to come drink a beer. I wish you were here drinking a beer. Because the beer is delicious, cold and refreshing, and the music is just nice. I'm really happy you guys can hear us. When I, when I first sat down, I thought, oh, there's no way they can, uh, they can hear us. And again, I talk loud. I speak loud. Actually, music is good, but played this way is annoying. Oh, really? Oh. I kind of love it, but I don't know much about Ashe, <laughs> so I'm still learning. Uh, Vanessa says, Fred Forche. We're going, we're going. We're going, we're going. Hopefully with you. A karaje is a religious food. Oh, I didn't know that. Interesting. Yes, it's related to the candomblé religion. Uh huh. Yes. Uh -huh. We've got some good it's vlogs coming. Good we've, for got, the guts. we've got three vlogs coming that are already shot and not yet edited. The next one is a guy named Merios, who's a Romanian guy. He bought. Uh, oh, obrigado. Obrigado. Um, I'm excited for this drink. Ivana's drink came. This is highly recommended by Vanessa. Uh, Kiwi pineapple cappy vodka. Kiwi, pineapple, caipri vodka. Okay, interesting. Drink it, drink it, drink it. Chug it, chug it. Very good, guys. So good, she can barely contain it. So good. Moito bong. Moito bong. So, our next video is... Um, nowadays, not all academy stands are religious. Oh, I didn't know it was religious. This is new information. Yeah, because... Um the sellers are normally 
Havaiana. Oh. The ladies that have the head wraps and the, and and the, the dress. The, yeah, the clothing. So it's kind of religious, but maybe it's different today. What's your overall opinion about Belo Horizonte? Beaga, oh, I miss Beaga. I love that place. You know what? Every place that we said we like, yes. there is a, like some parts that we like about it. Yes. Okay, this ties in. This ties yeah. in perfectly with our next segment. Questions from the audience. Questions from the audience. Okay. Um, question from Florin Ivascu, who is in the chat every live stream. Uh, the question was, what is unique about Brazil? So one of the things that's unique about Brazil is that it's so big that every place feels different. A lot of countries, the whole country feels the same. Like in Romania, there's differences. There's three main states, but it all feels like Romania to me. Yeah. Whereas in Brazil, in Biaga, it's totally different than Bahia. Oh my gosh, there's a tongue twister. From Biaga to Bahia, it's totally different. Or even Sao Paulo again, totally different. Yeah. So well, this Rio is one is of the totally different. Even the culture in uh -huh. in uh, Sao Paulo, Bahia, and Rio, totally different. They uh -huh. both got samba, but the samba culture is also different. Uh -huh. You know? Which makes it nice for tourism because you can go around a country and you almost feel like you're going to different countries. Yeah. So one of the things that makes Brazil unique is uh, diversity. Felipe says diversity is one of the main selling points. Absolutely right. Uh, black, white, native, and and immigrants of like Japanese people, yeah, or other kind of European, non-Portuguese European people. So yeah, if you ask, if you ask a Brazilian, they won't just be like I'm Portuguese. They will be like I'm Portuguese and Italian, or uh -huh. I'm Portuguese and black, uh -huh. or I'm Japanese and black. Uh -huh. You know, they're all mixed yeah. together, in, or native. Uh -huh. In this sense, Brazil is a lot like United States. Because every state of the United States feels like a different state sometimes. Right. Uh, similar to Canada and Russia are both big, but the thing about Canada and Russia, most of the land is not livable. Uh, Whereas in Brazil, it's the population is pretty spread out. Yes. Most of the population is on the coastline, but there is still unless you are in the Amazon forest, <laughs> which would be totally different again. Like a whole new experience would be going there. See, people say I look like a local. Uh huh. Ivana doesn't even look like a foreigner, exactly. Ivana looks local. We're kind of more divided by class than by race. Yeah. Um, not being divided by race is a very good thing. It's a, it's a very admirable thing. Everyone who has a Brazilian passport is as Brazilian as anyone else. Sort of nice. So thank you for the question, Florence. It's a good question. Uh, another question. Dun, 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 dun is from Isa Fisan. Is Portuguese harder to learn or easier than you expected? Uh, Portuguese is relatively easy to learn. One, because Brazilian people talk with their hands. So even if you don't understand what they're saying, you can get their point. Yes. They kind of do sign language. When a Brazilian person speaks, they're kind of automatically doing sign language. Pointing and, yeah. action and kind of acting it out. And you kind of can pick up some words because some words are similar to English, right. but they do it with passion, uh, enthusiasm, something else in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the end of the words. Uh -huh, like, uh -huh. for example, attention. Attention. Attention is attention. Attention. Yeah. Something so like a lot that. of words are familiar. There was a time in a museum with Dunga where I read a sign that was in Portuguese and I read like five sentences in a row. It just so happened that those sentences were very English kind of familiar. And, Portu and Dunga's like, you speak Portuguese, man. You just read, you just read a to paragraph. Speak, to speak is a different thing. To speak is a different thing. Yeah. To understand and to speak is a different thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's because we are very expressive people. Not as much as Italians. Okay, uh -huh. right. Maybe not as much as Italians, but it's very helpful because there's always pointing and acting out and it's very helpful. So in terms of uh, learning Portuguese, we're not actually learning it. We're not taking lessons. We're not actually learning. Yeah. But we can get around Brazil okay. We feel okay. Yeah. Um, so good question from Isa Fisan. Who's maybe not here, but probably will watch later. Another member. Yeah. 
That's a good question. Oh, from Antonio. Have you ever needed medical assistance during your trips? How does it work? Uh, we have travel insurance. Yes. And we've used it but only for small stuff. Yes. So I've had like a stomach infection in India. I had like an ear infection, a uh, sinus infection, um, stuff like that. We just we just pay for it out of pocket, and then we ask the doctor or the uh, hospital for like a insurance slip, and then we send it in. Yeah. What's our insurance cost? You know. I think it's around forty dollars per month. Each. Per person. Yeah. It's not so much. It's like a dollar twenty-five a day. Yeah. And it's worth it. Um, we know some people travel with no insurance, which is a bold move. But we travel with insurance. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, good question. Sometimes we have a hard time redeeming what we bought, but for the most part, uh, the insurance is reliable. What travel insurance do you use? Safety wing. Uh, safety wing, yes. Safety wing. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the best or the worst, but it's been working for us. I'm gonna go to the Bañeros, so the lovely Ivana will take over. Take it away, lovely Ivana. Take it away. You wanna get food? I'm not too hungry, no. Okay. Thanks, good to know, Steve. Uh, Michi, by the way, Brazil may be a good place for you during pregnancy, free health service. Really? For foreigners as well? For foreigners? Really? Or is it just for Brazilian? The free health care? If it's for foreigners, that would be great. We'll stay here. <laughs> Last watch. Thank you for whoever gave me the gift. Oh. Thank you, thank you. I think today Denise gave the gift. So thanks, Denise. Uh, I think as a tourist, you can use the public health care. It's one of the best thing about Brazil. It's not as high quality as private most of the time, but still quite good. Oh, so really we can use the public health care. How does it work? How does it work? Health care is free for tourists. Wow, that's amazing. Health care is free for tourists. I think Brazil is like so far the only country that I know in the world that provides free healthcare for tourists. Where else? I don't know. I think it's only in Brazil. That's amazing. Amazing. So I don't even know if we even like need to pay for insurance now. Maybe it's kind of useless to pay for insurance. <laughs> Vanessa, am I gonna be an ad soon? Fingers crossed. By the way, Vanessa, Vanessa got the sweetest daughter. She got two kids, they're both amazing, but her daughter, oh my god, I want to have a daughter just like Leah. She's so sweet, she's amazing. Did you know that healthcare in Brazil is free for everyone, including foreigners? What? Yeah. Cancel the policy, Ivana. <laughs> Am I gonna be an ant soon? Fingers crossed. <laughs> I was just telling them how Vanessa got the sweetest daughter. Oh sorry. my gosh. Leah. Oh my gosh. She says, I love you, and she gives us a hug when we hang out together. She says, I love you, and she hugs, hugs her legs, you know, I love you, and she leaves her like, oh, I want to have a daughter. <laughs> so sweet girl, so sweet girl. Ivana, Brazil is a good place to be during pregnancy. So that's another thing about, uh, okay, next section, next section. What's upcoming, what's upcoming? So we are going to have some kids and buy property and do all these things. We have no timeline because it's so hard to plan. <laughs> but eventually we will be in a country for like a year, I think. Yeah. While pregnant. Yeah. Or maybe two countries. I don't know. Maybe two I don't countries. know how it works. 
We're a bit nervous about this. Uh, I've never been pregnant before. How does it work? Me neither. So we're thinking Romania because uh, Europe is nice. You can jump to different countries for for weekends or for a week and get more get some traveling done. But I learning wish, that Brazil has free just, healthcare is something new. I wish it's the man who gets pregnant. <laughs> That's sexist, Ivana. <laughs> Don't be afraid. I am family was very clear. They said, we asked them, is it hard to travel with kids? So easy. <laughs> I was like, yo, tell Ivana more of that. Because some people we ask about, about traveling with kids and they go, oh my gosh, it's the worst thing I ever did in my life. And we go, oh no. Hello from Germany. Hello. How are you? From Germany? Yes. Punked. How is everything in Germany? Is it cold right now? Of course it is. Where in Germany? Where in oh, Germany? Oh, new member, like Saoji. Hey, Raphael. Raphael Saoji to you. Thanks for joining our membership. Welcome, Raphael. Welcome, Raphael. You can find cheap flights from Romania. Yeah, this is one of our ideas. It's, it's, when you're pregnant, you can still travel a bit. You just don't want to be so hard at it. So you can do a flight to Italy for a bit, or a flight to or go to Bulgaria for a bit. Uh, whereas in Brazil, you're probably staying in Brazil the whole time. Yeah. Because flights are very expensive. We've got a lot to figure out, guys. Come with us for this journey. Uh, in some sense, Ivana and I have started a crazy lifestyle of adventure. But I think once we start buying property and having kids, the adventure is really going to begin. The adventure I'm, never stops. I'm, I'm kind of excited, but scared at the same time. Same. There's a YouTube channel called Endless Adventure. I love that name. The adventure is endless. It's just going to keep going and onwards and onwards. Until the adventure is just watching our kids' adventure. Oh my gosh, life is so good. Oh my gosh, life is so good. Moito bong, everybody. Moito bong. It's been a new year. And now we've got new us, new live stream. Uh, Michi is saying you can establish in Romania and have a vacation house in Brazil. This is good that living. Be nice. This is well, good living. Guys, we don't have a lot of money. We'll start small. It has to be small. <laughs> so start with one, and then maybe, hopefully, we can expand. You guys should enjoy the sunset at Baja. We did that. It's coming soon yesterday, in the video. Yesterday, so beautiful. Really Last nice. Day. At the lighthouse. Yeah. Ooh, the lighthouse in Baja. Muy to bon. Muy to bon. Uh, now, in terms of what's upcoming, we've also uh, made the decision to start a road trip soon. We were nervous to drive in Brazil. We thought, I don't know, can we handle it? When we were with I Am Family, we met a Romanian couple and their 13 year old son who just did a road trip up the northeast. Uh, they've been coming and going from Bahia many times. They own a car here and they drove up the coastline two weeks or so with their son, totally safe, encouraging us to do it. So the road trip will start maybe next week. Which, if you guys remember from Romania, road trip is one of the best experiences for us. Oh, we're singing, we're singing. La, la, la. Oh. <laughs> so we're gonna try and recapture our Romanian road trip vibes. If you guys remember, the Romanian road trip was like one of the best memories ever. So we're gonna start the road trip soon. Let us know your recommendations of where we should go. We've got tons of ideas already. Tons of good ideas, but we are probably going to return the car back to Salvador. So it means we'll go up and then we'll reach some certain point. Whether we go as far as St. Louis, I don't know, but then we'll come all the way back. Tickets oh. bought to watch the football match on Wednesday. No Paul Metis jersey allowed. All right, all right. <laughs> so stay tuned for that video. Uh, you guys know Paul Metis, my Sao Paulo team. Vasco is my number one Rio team. I love Vashko and maybe I can get my arm twisted and I'll get talked into having a Bahia team. 
Uh, but in the end, we are going to a Bahia game on Wednesday. Stay tuned for that video. We'll probably post it Wednesday. Shoot, edit, post. Yeah, or Thursday. So the road trip starts soon. Let us know what to do. We're going to go pretty far to like Fortaleza. Maybe past Fortaleza. We might even go to the northern hemisphere of Brazil. We're free. The car seems pretty affordable. It seems like it's $23 per day, which is in our budget. For two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, that's in our budget. So, uh, that's the idea. There is a road to take up north that's like inland, but we'll stay along the coast, fly the drone, soak up the sun. I'll work on my tan. By the way, thanks for all the nice comments about my tan. It's, I, it's obvious, right? My tan, a lot of nice comments about my tan. And you're right, it is very handsome tan. If you have your kids in Brazil, you will automatically become citizens. Oh, We've got a lot of research to do. We've got a lot of research to do. It's one degree here in Romania. I'm not liking what I see there. Oh, oh my gosh, the weather over here is just nice. This is our view in front of us, Moito Bong. And this is our view behind us, Moito. And the audio is just nice. Tell you what, 320 in the chat and 300 thumbs up. Very good. Appreciate. We appreciate. We appreciate. I think the lovely Ivana is hungry. Somebody asked, how's your drink, Ivana? Muito boa. Muito boa. Muito boa. Muito boa. The good thing about the Northeast is that the states are close to each other. Yeah, there's a few small states up in the Northeast. So we can drive through them, um, see the big city, like the capital maybe, and then see a small town, like two stops, and then go to the next one. Uh, it looks like a perfect place for a road trip. You've got the coast, and you've got all the different states and all the different cities. And during this time, so back to our list, uh, during this time will be Carnival. Um, we still have no idea what to do for Carnival. I think we'll just see wherever we are when Carnival hits and we'll just be there. We might be okay to be in a small town or something. We just don't want to, uh, I don't want to get scared. Listen, when we were at Lava Gem du Bonfing, huge crowds of people, and there was this one moment where like, something happened and some people were running in the crowd, and there was like a pushing, and it was like, I just get scared and I feel vulnerable. I'm kind of afraid of big crowds. So I think for Carnival, we might just be, Wherever we are, we celebrate. It would be nice to be in Salvador or Hasifi or some big city. But if we're in a small town, it'll still be amazing for us. It's our first time. And so that's that. Now, with that being said, all of this is dependent on us getting our visa extended. From what I understand, it's pretty certain to get extended. We have no reason to get blocked, but we are uh going for our meeting next week to see if we can get our extension if we don't get our extension we've got two weeks to leave so all of a sudden the brazil trip is over all of a sudden but i think we'll get it and uh once we get that we'll start the road trip and we'll see what happens for carnival and with that that is the conclusion of the list the conclusion of the list all right there you have it guys so the reason i wanted to organize my thoughts was one to make it not so boring but also, after the live stream is done, we can put timestamps on the live stream. And then people can watch some sections that are more clearly organized. Because sometimes the live stream is just, like even the beginning, just windy and we're walking along. So if I can put some timestamps, maybe I can get people interested in the live streams. So anyway, the, the list is finished. Stay tuned for next week. We'll see what kind of list we have. List is done. See you next time. No, no, no. We'll still go. We'll go more. We'll go more. Now we can freestyle and drink beer. Be free. Uh, you should go to Olinda for Carnival. That's in Recipe. Yeah, let us know any recommendations you have. There's lots to do on the coast. So I hit it. Oh, I just parked.
Uh, Lava Gym de Bonfing is one of the most dangerous public events. Carnival is organized. Really? There was a moment in Lava Gym where I was like, oh, this is dangerous. This is how people get trampled, you know? Some dude was like, he looked like he was wasted, but he was running, and his, his friends were running and pushing, and it was like a... And you're just, you're was, just totally vulnerable, like, I have nothing to do. We, were, so we were in the middle of a crowd, and all of a sudden people were like, acting very anxious, or like... Pushing worried. and running. And, and people were just like, talking in Portuguese, and we didn't understand. Yeah, and they're all like, like, what's going on? Yeah, people's voices went up, and we're all like, I don't even know what they're saying, and I'm stuck. Yeah. That was a scary moment. Guys, do you realize you spelled out a very bad word in Portuguese when you used the Romanian name? No, I didn't know that. The Romanian thing I put is a bit of an inside joke with my Romanian friends. Um, I could have just not written it on the screen and just said it, but I didn't know what it's it means in Portuguese. Bad word. <laughs> in Portuguese? No, it's also a bad word in Romanian. But Romanians and bad words are like are like peas and carrots. Romanian and bad words, they don't mind. Romanian is the most creative people on earth when it comes to swearing. Yes. And they do so it creative. and they do it all the time. And it's not offensive. It's just part of their language. How you know how Brazilian is the most creative when it comes to romance? Language? Romanian is the most creative when it comes to swearing. That's right, that's right. That's right. Portu Portuguese is romantic and Romanian is vulgar. <laughs> anyway, I didn't know what that meant in Portuguese. I'm uh, sorry if I offended people. Um, yeah, I can't always watch you live, and the recordings are like three hours, so timestamps are nice. Yeah, this way, if you have a question, uh, exactly right, from, uh, from Radu. It's exactly what I was thinking. Because sometimes there's a really good section of the live stream, but it's buried in like an hour of nonsense, and I think people are gonna miss it. So I think I can put a timestamp. Uh, it's quite helpful. So now I know there's four timestamps there, and if we stumble into something funny, we can also do that. Add a timestamp. And guys, don't miss small cities on your road trip. Tell yeah. us where, tell us where to go. Tell us where, but you're absolutely right. We want to discover new places. In Romania, a lot of the times, we just ended up somewhere. It's the middle of nowhere. Uh, and it was so great. So I'm sure Brazil has the same vibe. And then we're gonna find, in the middle of nowhere, we're gonna find paradise with a very affordable property to buy. And then we're gonna start building an Airbnb secret getaway. Okay. We'll see, but this is our plan. Mojo Bongo. Okay, good. Now that the list is finished, I feel like I accomplished something. I feel like, wow, good job. The list is done. The live stream is a success. I feel like we should get dinner here because the guy don't really have anything. Wanna eat? Move your way to bed. Okay. I'm not too hungry. Yeah. It's hard to eat on live stream because then you can't talk. We're, we're debating. I like seeing you eat and your reaction. Uh, your wish will be granted, Steve. Thank you, Mitchie. I hope so. Life is very good. Sometimes in life you get overcome with, with gratitude and love. Oh. And you feel like. That's a good thing. Instead of thinking about what can go wrong, you start to think about all the things that can go right. And then you feel like, life is so good, you know? Muy uh, bon. What's your data plan? Claro. 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 Uh, we, can, we can upload more data, pay for more data on the app. Yeah. So we use the or app to recharge. To or go to the shop, but the shop doesn't work. So we recharge our data plan. Uh, how much and how much it cost? 30 less for 10 gigabytes. Oh, very good. Very good, yeah. Pineapple and kiwi. Very good drink. I feel like there's no vodka in that. The vodka is invisible. The vodka is tasteless. Nice drinks. Your good vibes attract all the best for you. Thanks, Mitchie. We've been so grateful. The people we're meeting, Vanessa, I am family. 
Dunga, uh, our friends in Biaga, our friends in Oro Preto, Paulo, the list goes on. I can't name them all. But every stop of the way, we get helped and guided by locals. It's really grateful. It's really amazing. Yeah. We got dropped off at the airport by our friends and picked up at the airport two hours later by our new friends. It was like, wow. I felt so special. I felt so grateful, you know? I'm trying to express my good feelings. It's hard. Because it's like it's just hard to say, you know? But life is good. What about the Palmeiras t-shirt? Best team in Sao Paulo. Look, four stars, okay? Cuatro Estela. Shout out to Art from Gringo Nation. Palmeiras, baby. So guys, what I want to do, by the way, new topic. What I want to do is every Friday for the members, I'm going to write a thing on membership. And you guys can give us topics. So the list we have, we can make some topics based on your recommendations. Could be questions for us. It could be anything random like what's better, cats or dogs, anything. And then we'll try to organize them in like thoughts and we'll do little sections for the live streams. Make the live stream more entertaining, make it more engaging. Uh, every Friday I'll write a post saying this is what I want to talk about and you guys will add to the list. I'll have two or three ideas. You'll have two or three ideas, and that's that. My mom says, is Membership Monday still a goal? The trouble with Membership Monday is, I talk to you guys three hours on Sunday, and then, and then Monday, I have to type something out, I already said all my stuff. So Membership Monday is getting moved to Membership Friday. It's called, oh, Jet Fam Friday. Still alliteration, Jet Fam Friday. Because then I can say my weekly checkup, I can tell you what I want to talk about, you can tell me some ideas of what you want us to talk about, and then it sets us up for Sunday. Uh, the question was cats or dogs? Uh, okay, chat. Everybody in the chat, post your your choice and your explanation. Cats or dogs? How about you, Ivana? Cats or dogs? Well. No, pick one. Well. For me, dogs. Dogs. Cat is nice if you're sitting on the couch. But a dog is nice if you're outside. Dogs are more playful, yes. Lauren is right. For me, dogs. And I would even say, I hate to say this, I don't wanna be I don't wanna be elitist, but a small dog, not my favorite. I would I would say medium or big size dogs. This is my choice. Congratulations. God bless the baby and you. <laughs> Ivana, my city Poso, the Caldas Public Health Care are very good. You can have the baby here. Carnival and Carnival in Posos and Oro Preto are good. Thank you very much for your loving message, Maria Hurdy. We're still making plans. And when I say making plans, it means we have no idea what we're doing. But we are looking for somewhere to have a baby. We aren't even pregnant yet, but we're, these are these are the thoughts we're having that are hopefully gonna make some good vibes come our way. Dogs, dogs, cats. Uh, I like dogs, but my husky acts like a cat. Okay, sounds good. I'm allergic to cats. Okay, for me, dogs. Medium-sized dog. Medium, short-haired dog. Boy, the one. Golden Retriever. Very good dog. Please name their baby Meech. Yeah, for sure the baby's name is Mitch. Mitchell. I'm in on this name. I'm not taking it back. I like the name. Mitch. Like Michimura. Like Michimura. <laughs> Good vibes. Moito Bong. Now guys, in Brazil, here's a, here's a trick, okay? You want a new beer? Take it out of this and put it on the table like that. That's the universal Brazilian symbol for, hey, I need a refill. No need to wave your hand and ask the guy. He will see. Mitch, 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 yeah! Dogs, cats, or babies? Okay, if it's that, I choose babies. German Shepherd, good dog. Usually cats are not really into traveling. Uh, usually cats are not really into traveling. Right. Cats are like, uh, they're doing their own thing. Dogs are part of the family. Cat is doing its own thing. 
All right, I had one beer and the music is sounding so good. I think in two beers I'll be dancing. Vanessa works in many languages, just saying. So Vanessa, I have surmised before, and I believe it to be true, that the letter V is the most beautiful letter for a lady's name. Vanessa, beautiful name. Ivana, beautiful name. Vivian, oh. The V is a very beautiful letter. Ah, okay, here we go. So, yeah, maybe Vanessa. We never know, we never know. I think, I think Ivana will be Violet. in charge. Violet. Ooh, Violet. Steve. Uh, yes, right, Steve. Uh, obrigado. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not, Ivasco, beautiful name. I'm not sure how most people do it, but I think Ivana will be in charge of the female baby's name, and I'll be in charge of the male baby's name. But we still work together for both, but I think that'll be more influential, I think. You hungry, Ivana? Carne de sol. Carne de sol. Go ahead, Ivana. Get your thing. No problem. Ivana might order some carne de sol. For both of us. Oh. I'm not too hungry, babe. Okay. So there won't be dinner. You can go eat later. Yeah, go eat later. There's a couple Snow and Kurt. They have a travel vlog on YouTube and they travel in a van with their cats. Wow. Interesting. With their cats. Brazilians are very creative with their names. Once the mother named their baby, made in USA. Madunsa. Madunsa. Is it loud? <laughs> the guy dancing in the background. Good for him. Be free, man. Put your sunga on and get dancing. Brazilians are... Oh, my mom. Steve's not hungry. Wait till the food comes, he will eat. That's true. No, I had about... I had about... A lot of food yesterday. I'm full, I'm full. What did you have? Yesterday I had acarajé. That's so small for the... What? You guys definitely should have Brazilian babies. We have to learn about how to get our baby a Canadian passport. Lauren was asking, what's the most unique thing about Brazil? Did you answer? Yeah. Well, what's it? well I said that it's so big that every state is like its own country to some degree. Yes. So for, for me, uh -huh. it's freedom. It's the most free country in the world, I think. Where wow. we have been to. And we've also asked foreigners, our foreigners friends, what do you like about Brazil? They say freedom. True. It's so free here. Free in Brazil. It's a good answer. Yeah. Freedom. Jean Paulo, you are already Brazilian. Saúde, pra caramba! Put the dog's name, Meech, and let the Ivana pick the baby's name. <laughs> Denise doesn't like Meech. I like Meech as a name. I'm into it. What do you mean by free, Ivana? By anything. Music, dancing. Oh, of course, by freedom, there will be come with violence, criminals. That also comes with the, the amount of freedom you have in a country. It also there is bad things and good things that comes with freedom, but free and awesome for us. I think about it, it means freedom. It means uh, like less government interference. You can do what you like. You know, you can do what you like. Yes, and you can speak what you like. Uh huh. I mean, talking about LGBT pride parade. You know, free. Yeah. Women free. wearing bikinis. Free. Wearing the the tooth floss bikini. Yeah. Free. Freedom. You know? Yeah. Socially very free. Yeah. Not a lot of women get that privilege in other countries. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Freedom.
freedom. And people drinking on the street, people Free. dancing yes. on the street. Yes. Just the people itself, the yes. culture, they're so welcoming and warm. Yeah, people are selling alcohol on the street, drinking yeah. on the street. Yeah. Do what you like. Good answer, Ivana. Wow, timestamp that one. <laughs> As far as I know, if you're Canadian and your child is born here, you can automatically get both citizenship. Cool. What an adventure. Yvonne and I have been on a four year adventure. The adventure is going to start soon. The real adventure. So I was talking about carnival. I mean, carnival. Talking about freedom. Carnival. What are the things that are happening during carnival? Freedom. Come on. So Drinking much freedom during the carnival. Yeah. You know. Um. Florence's question was, "What's so unique about Brazil?" Really, the culture of Brazil is very unique. Yes, the culture. It is right. Because for me, I travel for culture, really. I travel for culture more than nature, for me. Because nature, I can, everywhere in the world is beautiful. Yeah. But the culture is very unique. Uh -huh. So I travel for culture more than nature. Yeah. Olinda is very recommended for carnival. Where is Olinda? Recipe. Recipe. Yeah, we don't have any plans for carnival yet. We're gonna wing it and see what happens. But the road trip starts next week, which I'm super excited for. Because road trips are some of my best memories in a lot of countries. Romania and Albania both. In Malaysia. Very good. Very good road trip places. Oh my god, I love Ivana. Love you too. Same bro. Love you. Yeah, Ivana's right though. For us, the beauty of Mother Nature is, is still worth seeing. Yes. But 10 years later, you're not going to remember the nature. Yes. You're going to remember the people. The people. And the way of life and the, the culture. The culture, way of life. That's what really hits you in an unforgettable way. Right. It's right. Ivana, you're the best. We should be really Brazilian and we should do more public displays of affection. I can't do it. It makes me, I can't do it. I actually can't do it. I admire people who make out in public, but yeah, can't do it. Oh my gosh, my mom is going off. Lots of research needs to be done regarding pregnancy, drug division, citizenship. You will make the right decision once you have all the information. Oh, good ending, mom. Good one. <laughs> well, we got some info in Brazil now. It's free. Healthcare is free. <laughs> that place, Proso. Good recommendation. Good healthcare. Yeah. Maybe Minas is the place. We'll see. We'll see. PDA, PDA, PDA from Michi. Uh, oh, that's about as far as I can go. I'm. Uh, what's? It's a good. That's a good timestamp. What's your stance on public displays of affection, everybody? Let's talk about it. Let us know in the chat. I feel very nervous. I feel like everybody's looking at me. You're very Canadian, and I'm very Canadian. Canadian. And, Canadian and people don't really display their affection uh, in public. Well, especially before Canadians, like Scottish, it's like in English, it's not really PDA. Yeah. If you're a Brazilian Canadian, maybe okay. But, uh... <laughs> it's totally okay to make out in public, yes, in Brazil. That's totally okay. It's true. <laughs> you see it. Even with their kids around. With their kids standing there, the parents are making out at yeah. the bus stop, and you're like, it's just love, uh, you know? It's just a display of love. It really is beautiful. <laughs> you know? Okay. It's much better than slapping your wife for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, Ivana. <laughs> I think so. The planet is so beautiful. What I like is the culture. And I feel more comfy and warm and free. Same. No public affection for me. My girlfriend 
think otherwise though. So one must be firm. So Ivana, you would like to do some public displays of affection? No. You're uh, okay. I'm good. I I'm nervous to do that. The holding hands for me. Holding hands, muy bon. <laughs> Armor on the shoulder, muy bon. Making out? Oh. <laughs> That's for the last stream. <laughs> love stream. It'll be a love stream. Michi, Ivana is a love stream. Mm. So, our next video coming on Tuesday. Um, we met a Romanian guy who bought a farm in a eco community and eco community so it's like a huge area where there's like 30 farms around there and the idea is they'll yes. be totally self-sufficient Marius, yeah Marius and so the idea is everyone will trade their farm stuff crops or whatever chickens whatever yeah. and then they'll all just live together in the jungle very interesting place. So we got a video coming on that. It was uh, it was interesting to see. And Maros, this song. super nice guy. I love this song. Okay, good. You know this song? I think it's Marilia Mendoza. Is this Marilia Mendoza? Ivana thinks it is. Could be. I love her. Uh, the question was, what do you think about nudism? I don't know the words. I need to learn. What do you think about nudism culture in Germany or in Europe? Uh, yeah, I don't think it's only in Germany. I think it's all over Europe. What do you uh, think about it? Mostly. It's okay. Be free, man. Be free. Do what you like. Yeah. Do what you like. Agree. Totally agree. Oh, donation! Saudi, hey. Saudi, Saudi, Saudi. Saudi to Irani Silva. Thank you so much. Gee. Have you tried couscous already? Couscous is actually polenta, right? In Brazil. Well, actually, when we stayed with IM family, they cooked the Brazilian couscous, which they call Mama Liga in Romania. It's good. Brazilian couscous is Mama Liga in Romania. It's very good. We like Mama Liga. We like couscous. We like polenta. <laughs> I like Brazilian music. Yeah, this is Marina Mendonca. Yeah, that's sad. Uh, the question is, is it a tree farm? Medios' farm is going to be tomatoes and something else, and he's going to get chickens as well. I think each farm when you purchase it, you're sort of free to do what you like, but they try to make everyone do something kind of different so they can all trade. It's like a community. The people there are all very interesting because they're all successful enough to buy land outside of their home. And they're all living there. There's children around. There's a school there where the kids go to school. It's uh, very interesting. No football games in this period in Brazil. Uh, on Wednesday, we're going to Bahia game. On Wednesday? On Wednesday. I'm a little bit maxed out. I'm on Palmeiras and I'm Bosco, but I might be Palmeiras, Bosco, and Bahia by the end of this week. 
My number one love in all of football is Rapi Dukadesh. Yeah. My number two love is Boschko. Okay. Okay. Let me read this question because Kashasa. What Whoa. is Kashasa? That was pretty good. Is it like beer or is it like wine? Like vodka. It's more like vodka. It's more like vodka, whiskey. Palinka. A spirit. Kind of like, yeah. Liquor. From sugar cane. From sugar cane. Couscous is different from a maliga. It's made of corn, but it isn't the same. No, couscous in Brazil is like mamaliga. It's not the normal couscous. In Brazil, they call it couscous somehow. Yeah, it's funny the Palinka. name is couscous. Yeah. Because in Canada, couscous is a totally different thing. Not from corn. Couscous is like a... It's almost like wheat. It's like a different thing. Yes, different. Coincidence, but the name seeds. is... Uh, we got a donation. Oh, oh. Irani Silva. Couscous is couscous. Nothing to do with what? polenta. What? We tried it though. It's like polenta. Really? I think we are... I think we are confused about couscous. Irandi, we, we are confused about couscous. I thought couscous in Brazil was like polenta. Yeah. I think we're, I think we're confused. So maybe no, we have not tried it yet. Uh, we have not tried it. It's different from polenta. Ah. Would you and Ivana be interested to live in a community like you just described? Um, what do you say, Ivana? I like to be free. Ivana's all in on freedom. Me too, man. <laughs> so what about that community is not free? You're still tied into a community. Yeah. Which is good as well. Very nice. It's good. It looks nice, but... We will probably go around. I like to make my own rules. Oh snap! Braga! Seems that. Like, uh, seems that like you like Sardaneo. Yeah, Sardaneo. Do you know that Brazil the cars run on gasoline and ethanol? Yeah. Ethanol is very popular here as well as GNV, which is like natural gas. I think because Brazil makes ethanol and GNV, they want the cars to run on what they make locally. Right? Yeah. Okay, Ivana. Couscous is not like polenta. Texture is different. It's, also, it's not like authentic couscous. Yeah, from Africa. <laughs> Something else. You gotta try it then. The Northeast couscous is different. Samba. I like Pagoji too, but Samba. Oh, have a funky. funky. Funky when you're partying. Or, no, Brazilian music you can use for partying. So I don't know. I like all. Sartanejo. Sartanejo. 
Appreciate you, everybody. Even our cars can run on cachaça. I believe it. Funky is the Brazilian Manele. <laughs> Manele in Romania. Is it right? It's kind of right. It don't sound similar, but it's kind of like that socially. Uh, yeah. Former British colony, so it's not an official language, but they all speak uh, English. Mostly everybody. Saudi so, everybody, life is good here. I'm smiling on the outside and the inside. What does that mean? I mean, I feel good. Regards from, from Phoenix. Uh, thank you, Peter. Thank you so much. Saudi Peter, Saudi Peter. I'll be back. Oh, thanks for joining, everybody. We really love doing these weekly live streams. And from now on, we'll try to get some topics, some ideas, keep everybody talking and engaged because it's the best. All week, we kind of work hard. And my routine every Sunday is I wake up in the morning and I play video games. I have a, I have a, I have a morning off every Sunday. And then I do a live stream with you guys. So Sunday is always a relaxing day. We used to work every single day, but it's nice to have every Sunday off. And then after the live stream, Ivana and I usually go somewhere. Just don't bring the camera, don't film anything. We just go around and see the city. Uh, how often do you play chess? A lot, but five minutes here and there. I play uh, three minutes per game. Three minutes per side, so six minutes per game. Um, 
uh, I'm kind of stuck at 1600, 1650 rating. I haven't really improved in uh, some years, but I love chess. When I was with I Am Family, we were playing chess, like over the board, like real chess. It was awesome. Played every day. It was great. What do you think of Bahia so far? Uh, really nice place, really friendly people, super slow motion. Everything is slow motion. Even if you're standing near the side of the road and there's no zebra, the car will stop and say, go ahead. Everyone's ready to stop and chill. People are sleeping on the job. It's like a relaxing place. It's like beach vibes to the extreme. So we've had a good experience in uh, Bahia. Uh, my mom says I should go in chess tournaments. I was actually just saying that to Ivana. I would love to do a chess tournament. I gotta Google it when there is one and figure out where it is. I would love to go to a chess tournament. Uh, you gotta find people of your same skill level or else you just get crushed. But uh, yeah, I would love to do a chess tournament. That would be something nice. Uh, what type of Brazilian music is this? Sounds like country. Oh, I don't know. They are playing Li Zhang or Bana now. One of those is rock. Oh, okay, it's a rock song. Brazilian rock. It's amazing, it's just three people. A drummer, a guitarist, and a singer. And they sound awesome. They sound like a full a full sound. Sounds good, right? Ivana, do you have a favorite Brazilian song? For me, it's that one by Marilia Mendonca. Which one? I don't know. They're all good. That one is so good. <laughs> but I can't sing it, I don't know the words. This is. Kisses. Okay, Vanna, what's your plan? You want to eat some food on the live stream? Or you want to end the live stream? Or you want to walk around? Up to you, man. We can, we can uh, let the crowd decide what's the plan. Polenta is cooked cornmeal. It's kind of like a corn porridge. Yeah. Do you like Bossa Nova? The classics? Mm, yeah. I'm not picky with my music. I'll listen to everything. You know? What's your favorite non-Brazilian music? Favorite non-Brazilian Like music? genre, pop. You like pop. You like Dua yeah, Lipa. I like pop. Dua Lipa. Hey, Sha, How are you doing? Here's my can money. Oh, hey, Sha. So, Gita, Sha. Then let's order food. Okay, we eat. Sha says we eat, we eat. Makan is eat. Makan is eat in Malay or yeah, Indonesian. in Malay. Makan, makan. My favorite Canadian drink. Okay, what do you want to do? Uh, carne de sol? Sure. Obrigado. So Ivana's ordered some food that says it's for two people, which in Brazil means it's for three and a half people. <laughs> we can pack it. It's gonna be a lot. We'll pack some probably. We they'll bring, they'll bring, got they'll bring sol. With probably comes with rice, beans, and fries. Uh, rice, beans, farofa, and fries. Sol is sun. It's like sun, sun meat. meat. Meat of the sun. Carne yeah, de sol. Meat, meat of, of the, the sun. sun. What's the proper translation for carne de sol? Literally means meat of the sun, like the sun in the sky. But it's, I think it's like dried, like... Dried in the sun, yes. Dried in the sun, yeah, yeah, yeah. Meat in the sun. It's quite good, it's quite salty, it's quite good. Meat in Brazil is usually pretty reliable. Pretty yeah. yummy. Yeah. My favorite Canadian artist is Drake. <laughs> What's your favorite Canadian artist? Uh, really, that's a good question. 
Who's Canadian? Some forty one's Canadian. Drake is Canadian. Oh, you know who's Canadian? Shania Twain is Canadian. Oh, Thank you very much. Oh, I love Shania. Uh, Celine Dion, not my style, but also good. I think my favorite one is actually Metric. Metric, my favorite Canadian band. Metric. I don't know if you guys heard of Metric. Maybe they're only famous in Canada. They're from Toronto. All of them are from Toronto, I think. Yeah. Google it, Metric. It's good music, Metric. JB, yeah, he got some, a few good mu uh, songs. But no. I have to go now, guys. But I really hope you will uh, bump into you here in Salvador. Ah, uh, thank you, Marcos. Okay, Marcos. Marcos, Marcos Paulo. Texera. Marcos Paulo. Thank you, Marcos. Whenever, wherever you have a child, Nene and Grants will be there. Nice one. Also, whenever, wherever is a song by Shania Twain. I thought it's Shakira. Shakira. I was off. <laughs> Avril Lavigne is Canadian. Come on. Oh, Leonard Cohen is a, is this hero. Oh, even The Weeknd is good. The Weeknd is pretty good. Oh, The Weeknd is good. But Leonard Cohen is a hero. That's the song Hallelujah. Yes. Bye bye, Marcos. That was a real <laughs> Welcome poet. Welcome to the Jet Fam. You know? oh, Florian, you're so good. Welcome to Jet Fam. Yo, we have a real thing happening here, Ivana. We went from the people... The Jet Fam, man. We went from the people who were making these videos. You know what's funny about YouTube? Let me tell you. When you start making videos, your friends and family in a, in a supportive way, okay? Uh huh. They say things like, "Oh yeah, your your video is so good." And meanwhile, in you know that your video is so bad, and no one's <laughs> watching, and you feel like, "Thank you for your kind words," but you know the video stinks. <laughs> and what else can they say, you know? But we went from that Nivana to someone where we really have something going here. Oh, we thank have, you uh, guys. We have a Jet Fam. Jet fam! Wow! 700 of you! 750 plus 10 from Denise today, yeah. plus some some uh, organic ones. <laughs> we're, we're coming up 800 Jet Famers. And maybe next year we'll get two more? No, one! Oh, come on. The video was not bad, just no one watching. <laughs> maybe foreign, but some of our early videos were pretty bad. Yeah. We did a video about Vietnamese food. And I did a bunch of voiceover to uh, make a We TV didn't know show how to vlog. Oh learned, man, that was a We cringy. learn as we go. So, an advice to anyone who wants to start a YouTube channel, just do it. Go, you have to do you it. You don't right need now. to be a professional. Yeah, thinking. You learn as you go. Do it right now. That's yes. that's also my life motto. You learn as you go. You don't need to be perfect the first go, you know? Yes, agreed. Uh from Rob. Fun fact, cassava in Brazil has a lot of names. According to the region, uh -huh. mandioca, macaceira, ice cream, castelinha, it's 17 different names. Wow. 17 different names of cassava. I thought Southeast Asia, I'm from Indonesia, eat a lot of cassava. But <laughs> Brazilians eat a lot of cassava. <laughs> cassava. True. It's good though. Uh, yeah. Rush, Canadian band called Rush. Ah, yes. Very good band. Very popular. Also, Bare Naked very Ladies. Heist. Canadian band called Bare Naked Ladies have some amazing songs. They're very high. JB, Justin Bieber, Nutella. Nutella. Rush, high. Uh, Bare Naked Ladies, high. Guys, for your channel, the video quality is not as important as you two are. Mm. Thanks, man. Oh. But with that being said, okay. I still like to get some good video quality. Yeah, true. We've only made 800 videos. If they're still bad, we are the world's slowest learners ever. Yeah, we did a lot I think they're okay. Videos. I've seen some videos. So when we started, if somebody were to play our video in front of us, uh, I couldn't watch it. It was so cringy. <laughs> now I don't prefer to watch my own video with people, but I wouldn't be so embarrassed. Yes. There's something happening there. It's interesting, you know? Uh, Information. I'm just taking a break right now. Yeah, kind of nice. I was getting a little bit, uh, I was yelling for a bit there. <laughs> yeah. nice. We're cruising at 275 people. It's going well. I love these live streams, man. Yeah. Thanks, every Friday, guys. like I told you thank guys, you, every Friday you. we do a check in and we plan out Sunday. Make it even better. And I gotta figure out what I need to do is bring a pencil and a pen. Pencil and a pen. Paper and a pen and write down some, some timestamps as we're doing it. <laughs> to go back will be too much work. 
bare you're naked. have them prepared, you know? Someone is asking, bare naked ladies, is there any bare, actual bare naked ladies in the group? No, they're fully clothed men, but they are, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but they are no making ladies in the songs. No, no, oh, no. Neil Young, Canadian artist. Uh, that might be the top one. Amazing artist. Neil Young. Okay. Minor for a heart of gold? What a song. Your aerial shots are all made by you. Yes. Uh, every once in a while, we do have a membership to download one, but usually you can tell because the lighting is way off. We'll be out at like, you know, sunset, and this shot will be at bright, you yeah. know, 2 p.m. Sun is shining. So sometimes we do use them, but like 90. Most of the time, five percent is us. Yeah. We have some nice drone shots from Bahia. We flew the drone at sunset. Uh, from Salvador. We sh flew the drone at sunset. At the lighthouse. At the lighthouse is like in Baja. Amazing. Billy Joel is Canadian? I don't think so. Is that right, mom? And Rod Stewart. Oh, my mom is just saying her favorite artist. Ah, uh, okay. Rod Stewart and Billy Joel, good artists. Um, yeah, very good. The Neil Young album with Eddie Vedder. They have an album together? Oh, I have to I have to hear that. Eddie Vedder is amazing. Uh, Neil Young and Eddie Vedder? Oh, I must download. Down. The sun, sun is going shine. down. The music is off and the sun is going down. We are in... Uh, because the water, uh, the color of the water is now different. It's not as vivid. Yeah, because right. Because the sun is going down. Yeah, a bit dark. Yeah. It's going down or it's behind the cloud? It's going behind the cloud. Wait, what time is it now? We've been on for? Uh, two hours. So it's like five. five. Coming up okay. five. The mirror ball. I must go check the mirror ball. Because Eddie Vedder is one of the best and Neil Young also very good. We'll listen. Very nice. We'll listen. Okay, so you, huh? How was your drink? You liked it, right? Mm. Mm. What's up, unicorn? Unicorn in the Mariana. chat. What's up? Luis, I was expecting you guys in Bahia because of the food. What have you guys tried already? Oh, only uh, acaraje. Only acaraje. We just ordered carne de sol. Coming now. Yeah, we just ordered carne de sol. So. We will do a whole food video in Salvador. Yeah. We've got Akaraje, we got Mokeka, which I actually tried Mokeka before, but I was in Florianopolis and it was just oh. so good. Yeah. Very good. Where are you, my Show lovely people? Show Unicorn where we are. We're over here. Just at a bar, at a restaurant by the beach. You see the beach there? See the beach. By the way, if anybody watching wants to give me an update on the NFL games, uh, it's not the Cowboys, so I don't. I mean, if it was the Cowboys, we would be watching. But let me know what's going on in the, in the NFL games. Today was Buffalo playing, and uh, in another game that I forgot. Jack Johnson, yeah, you can I hear think it. The Chiefs. 17 17, who's playing? Uh, Luis. I don't know the exact schedule. Yesterday, I watched like half of the Jacksonville game. I gave up. It was 27 nothing. I was like, this game is over. And then Jacksonville came back to win. And I should have watched the whole game. Came back from 27 behind. Ah, uh, it's cold here. I'm so jealous as you know. Ah, uh, it's cold in Serbia. Why did you guys give up on your thing? Oh, because, because the weather was, was yeah, not good. it was good. raining every day. We couldn't pull the trigger on going out there. And the thing was too, it was fully booked. There were spots open, but you couldn't get a cart to drive around because it was in between Christmas and New Year's. So it was like uh, highly, everybody wants to go and it was raining. So we just thought, ah, we'll leave for next time. Dolphins and Bills 17-17. The Bills should win. The Dolphins are on their, like their 15th quarterback. Nice to see you guys in live broadcast. Hello, hello. Oh, Andri Kuswara. From Indonesia. This is a, a good member, good commenter. Shout out to Andy. <laughs> yeah, you must be you must be up early, man. Whoa, over there it's like over there it's like three in the morning, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in Indonesia. Two, three in the morning watching your broadcast. Wow, thanks for watching, man. Thanks for your support. How do you say thank you in Indonesia? 
Makasi. Huh? Makasi. Makasi. I'm you... doing, yo, I'm doing my Indonesian lessons. I can speak Indonesian better than okay, ever before. Say, say a sentence in Indonesian. Oh my gosh. Uh, say, I'm hungry. Where's my food? No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> Saya lapar. Uh, where? Uh, di mana? Di mana makanan saya? <laughs> it's good, right? Good fun. Yo, I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm learning Indonesian. I am going to be bilingual. <laughs> no, say something in Serbian. Something in Serbian, Javeli. That's all I got. Javeli. That's all I got. I am learning Indonesian. I will not fail this goal. It's gonna take 25 years, but I'm doing Duolingo Serbian. Javeli. Apa kabar? Baik. Baik, baik, baik. Javeli, Let me think of some. The problem is we don't learn on Duolingo. I'm not learning about the beach. So I can't say like this beach is. So I don't know the word for beach. No, Portuguese. People are saying. Okay, Portuguese. Por say. Uh, what do you say? In Portuguese, it's so hard. All I know is no follow Portuguese. I love the sun. The weather is very nice. Oh, I love. What's love in Portuguese? Okay, okay. Uh, I love the mew, sun. Mew, mew, M-E-U. Uh huh. Amor. Uh huh. My love, my love. No, mew, amor. No, I is you. Ooh, amor. Okay. Uh, uh, do so. Uh, come on. Mm -hmm. uh, Again? Okay. My zoom. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, there you have it, guys. I'm glad we're eating because uh, I haven't eaten today. Only popcorn. Yeah. I had popcorn. So this is our dinner too. You guys see us eat a lot on like the food videos, but when we're not filming food videos, really, we only eat once a day. Oh, Amelia! Hi, Salve Amelia! Shout you to Amelia. Welcome, Cheers. welcome to the Jet Fam. Cheers. Thanks for joining. Hey, was it right? How, how was Steve in Portuguese? U amor oso, amor. Oh, you amor, amor. Oso. I had some, I had some basics down. But yo, my Indonesian is darn good. The the the, the lesson I just did. How about the beach is very nice today. In Indonesian. No, no, in Portuguese. The I don't beach know, I don't is know. very okay, nice. Okay, okay. The beach is praia, very nice. La praia. La praia is very nice. La praia is very nice. La praia is very nice. Today, I'm in Yan. No, 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 no. That's tomorrow. Today, aujourd'hui. No, that's French. <laughs> no, that's French. <laughs> La praia. But you mark my words. I will speak Indonesian so good. You mark my words. A praia? Okay, someone got it there. A praia? Do you have a favorite language to hear? Portuguese by far. Yes. The best language is Portuguese. I love how 100%. the Portuguese sound. A praia tá muito boa. And, and actually, I'll even take it one step further. Bahian Portuguese. Oh, you love the Bahian accent. Oh, it's so slow motion and everything. It's like... Bah, 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 yeah, bah. Bah, bah, yeah. I don't want to make funny. <laughs> I'm not mocking your noises, but like... A lot of words are A N A or like like Anna it's like very or bubbly. Oya. It's, very bubbly. it's so good like, in Bahia. Ooh. It's like oh my god! If somebody like, insulted very, me, very curvy. If somebody insulted me, I would say I don't know what they're saying, but it sounds so good. Like Bahian it's, accent is curvy and Rio is sharp edges. I like Rio too because Oish Doish, Oish Doish. You yeah. know, it's quite crunchy. But Bahia is like they could not do anything wrong. The more we talk about Portuguese, we get subscribers. Hey, Lorraine Rodriguez. Brrrr. Welcome to the Jets fam. Thanks for joining. Great event. Perfect pronunciation. Ooh. La praia está muito boa. Oh, agora. It's exactly like this. Agora. That's what agora. I say. Agora. Yeah. Agora. Which means now, doesn't it? No, what? Agora means what? Please finish this video. I need uh, to learn my and I can go back to my life. <laughs> <laughs> but before, try Cointro, a liquor made of orange oh, leaves. Really? I've heard Cointro? it before. Cointro. It's not Brazilian. From Iran. It's French. Yeah. Gotta be French. Uh, shout out to Irandi. Very good donator. Uh, hopefully, when someone donates some memberships, Irandi will get one. Because a uh, frequent commenter, but unfortunately, the live stream is members only. Please finish this. No, Agora means now. Ah. Now, now, now. Yeah, I thought it means now. Agora. I thought it's like, what? In Bahia means what? Oh, but I say it in Bahia like, Agora? Like, yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. They use it for slang like what? Yeah, in Bahia. Right? But it means now. I knew that. Because I knew that from, I actually knew Agora from 
when I was roofing in Canada with Portuguese people. Ah. Like, when do you want to do it? Agora. Like, do it now. Yeah. Agora. Agora. Okay, this is a good section about the about the pronunciation and about the languages. Thanks for the donation, Irondi. I need to learn Bahia accent. Yeah, the Bahia accent is so nice. It's so slow mo. At the end, it, it's so beautiful. And it's more expressive. <laughs> Did they call you Mo Ray? Yeah, they do this too. So my anything good you can call somebody. Like you could even call somebody Mao Bang, which means my good. Like if I love you, how you doing? How you doing, my good? How you doing, Mo Bang? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Bahia. Are you guys planning to get back to Rio? Uh, I don't have a plan, but we will be back in Rio. Dunga is like our friend. We, hopefully we'll see Dunga one day in Portugal. Because he goes to Portugal all the time. Yeah. But we'll see Dunga again in Rio for sure. Have you tried listening to Portuguese from Portugal? So when I was in Canada, I worked with Portuguese guys on my construction crew. But they were from the Azores. Which most people would call Azores. Azores. But in Azores, it's like Rio. Everything is ush dush. Like uh. so crunchy. So they call it Azores. Okay. Uh, they say dois. How in Bahia? Tres. Over here is tres. Doi. Dois. They don't say the sh. But in, uh, in Azores, they say sh on everything. It's like super duper uh, Rio accent on steroids. So I know Agora, I don't know like Prosima means I like, go up because the roofing say put it up there, Prosima or Pro Bosch was down. I know some basics of yeah. Portuguese because some of work. similar uh, words with Indonesian. Although when you speak it in a sentence, it doesn't make sense. Totally different, but similar words within some Indonesian language. Natal, Christmas. We got sapato, shoes. Sapato. Uh, we got janela. Janela is Which window. One? Oh. Uh, igreja, igreja. Church, same. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Probably oh, came from Portuguese because yeah. they were in like they East Timor. Were, yeah, the Portuguese were also in Malacca. Indonesia. In Malacca too, yeah. yeah. Muito bom. My Indonesian's getting darn good. Give me a sentence, Yvonne. Give me a sentence. Indonesian sentence. Squeeze me right now. I hate it. Uh, I want to read a book. I want to read a book. Irandi Silva. She's in. Oh, She's Irandi. in. She's like, listen. She's like, listen. I'm not Church waiting for a uh, gift. I want to read a book. Uh, saya suka. That's like. Sorry, saya punya. That's half. Shoot. <laughs> saya mau. Yeah. Saya mau membaca buku. Yeah. Bro, I got all the words down. Kabar, <laughs> okay, don't, don't, don't tell me. Kabar saya baik terima kasih teman. Ah, kabar saya baik. Looks good. Yeah. Uh, this is what Canada sold. How am I? Good, thank you. Okay, Hold on. Have fun. Move this there, or I think for now. This is gonna start, but. Oh. I got it. Obrigado. Obrigada. Boa apetite. Obrigada. So this is what kind of the soul looks like. Yo, it looks like steak. Check this out, man. S steak and onions, dude. Kind of the soul looks like just steak. With cheese on the side, and the thing is hot. The skillet is still simmering. All right, we're eating. Now I really tried my best to um, translate what Anthony said, but I couldn't get it. Kapar, kapar saya. Yes. What? I'm doing great, my friend. I'm doing great, my friend. Thank you. Good evening, guys. Okay, got it. What's tangan? Huh? Tangan. T e n g a n. T a n. T e n g a n. Taman. Taman. Friend. Friend. I'm doing great, friend. Okay, I had like one word out of that okay. sentence. Carne de sol looks very good. Looks a mucho bon. Tell you what, this is the first time we've ordered food for two people. It's actually for two people. Oh yeah. Usually you get for two, it's for like four. Yeah. This is manageable. We can finish this. They have queijo as well. Show, show the steak. 
Like yeah, make your make your plate nice, and I'll show your plate. You know what I mean? Do -do 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 you show this? Okay, okay, baby. I follow you need, okay? That needs to be my plate. No? It looks like regular steak, no? This sun dried, sun dried meat. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and wash my hands, and I'll be back. Okay. Okay. Bon appetit. Serve me. Muito bom. Be back, guys, and then we're gonna eat together. Okay. Arroz. I like arroz and vinagrete. Vinagrete. Oh! You guys don't believe it. You guys don't believe it. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> oh my god, this is lucky! Hey guys! Hey! What's up? Can we say hello to you? Yeah, sir? come on in! Come on in! Hey! Let's go! Hey! 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 We'll try to get everybody on frame and we'll see what we can do here. Eating and meeting our uh, our friends. Oh, amazing. Can we go to the bathroom quick, okay? Come on. Wow, so nice. So nice. Oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. <laughs> so cute. So what's up guys? Hey, hey. So nice. So nice. Yes. Uh just came. We haven't even tried yet. We just we, No, no problem. We just took it from the skillet onto the plate. Didn't eat yet. Okay. Didn't try. I'm sure it's good. Looks good, right? Yeah. Well, it's amazing. The onion. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Looks good. Gabriel, want to say hi? No. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. I didn't mean to embarrass. This is Gabriel. We actually are going to the beach. Okay. So you can finish the live. Sure. And then you go to. Sounds good. We're going to the beach. <laughs> We're going to the beach. <laughs> so cute, girl. The car needs to show. 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 The <laughs> no problem, no problem. Finish your dinner. We'll eat and then we'll come see you guys. Okay. Fantastic. Thank nice. you guys. You're the best. You're the best. You're the best. Vanessa, Pintu, Leah, Gabriel. These are our Bahia friends. So nice. I came with a sign that said Jet Lag Fam, guys. Can you believe? I came with a sign that said Jet Lag Fam. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cool. We had to do it. So, enjoy your meal. Sure, we'll see you soon. Yeah, yeah, good, good, good. Good, good, good. Our, our car is over there. Just okay. Go, yeah, we will turn off and text you. Moita bong. Moita bong, moita bong. Bye, friends. Bye, friends. So nice. Wow. Look at Ivana. Ivana loves a little girl like that. Ivana and a young girl are like best friends ever. I hope our I hope me and Ivana, I hope our firstborn is a young girl because Ivana wants a daughter so bad. 
Ivana loves a two-year-old, three-year-old, four-year-old girl. Bye, friends! Oh my gosh, so nice. What a moment. So funny because the lady sitting at the next table, she's pointing at me and telling me something, and I'm like, I'm like, I don't think, I don't, think, I'm like, I don't think it's, you know. She's like, hey, hey, hey. I'm like, no, no, no. And then I see what she's so pointing cute. at, and what she's pointing at is uh, Leah with a Jet Fam sign. I'm like, oh, oh shit! Oh, doesn't she melt your heart? Oh my God, she melts my heart. Too. Evidently, she said in the camera, she said, I don't know how to speak English. <laughs> I don't know what she said, but she said, I heard her say follow English. So she was being shy, saying like, I don't know how to speak English. She knows how to speak English. She's quite good at English. She's a very cute girl. Okay, let me go wash my hands. I'll be back. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that was so nice of them to show up. <laughs> you you want more than one kid, Steve? You are brave. Oh, Steve wants more than I do. Steve wants to have minimum five. Minimum, he said. And I said, ah. Not sure about that. Not sure about five. Maximum ten. <laughs> mm. The feijong is very good. Dry feijong. Feijong and and the sauce. Let's see. <laughs> Maximum three to fit in the car. Good point. Tell Steve that. I cannot have five. Cannot have five. It won't fit in our car. <laughs> mm, let me read your comment. <laughs> Welcome, Vanessa. Yes. Every city you have fans. You deserve them with that charisma. Oh, thanks so much. Thank you. So they're going to the beach, we'll join them after our live and after we finish our food. It's hard to interact with kids, they are doing so good. Vanessa is Brazilian? Yes, she's from Salvador, Bahia. Born and raised. Aww. That was so nice, no? I feel so happy! That made wow. my day. That made my day. What a bundle of love just came our way. Oh, obrigado. Obrigada. Look at that, Ivana. Thank you, obrigado. What a bunch of love we just received, Imana. You have to open your heart and let the love come. Part of me, part of me thinks, oh, we don't, we don't deserve the love. You know, I feel nervous. We have to accept the love. So nice. Bon Vanessa and everyone. Bintu and Leah. Oh, so nice. Okay, this is carne de sol. It looks almost like steak. Yeah. Like very well cooked steak. But I think it's not exactly cooked. It's more like. Uh, sun-dried like it's a different kind of thing than just a uh, churrasco steak you know what I mean by the way no farofa do you notice that mm. <laughs> could go for some farofa very good not bad okay, what's the one? I like steak but this one is very well cooked it's not very juicy anymore mm -hmm. you know it's almost dry it's almost like it's Sun dried. Sun dried. Then you got it. I think that's what the onions are for. To give you some flavor in that bad boy. Because it's a bit, it's a bit, you know? Oh, with this. I don't know. Spicy sauce. That's right. Very good. I like it. But it's dry, yeah. Sun dried. Usually, it's usually, not very salty. No, usually at Chicasco, the meat is red inside, mm -hmm. juicy, with salt on it. This is interesting, but Chicasco meat is so good. This is like a okay. I think this is wait, is it pan fried or Chicasco? I don't know. Maybe you gotta eat it with vinaigrette. Need some, need some juice in there. You know, what's this all about? Green. 
Man, so glad it came. That made my day. Oh. Thank you. Mm. The trouble is, we don't have a bathing suit. I think I'm gonna go swimming on her pants. This is good. What's this? Lime. Oh, this is what I had to say. You saved the meat. The meat's too dry, right? Lime and oregano. Okay, there's a lime and oregano sauce. I think this is the meat saver. Looks like ice cream. Mm, that's kind of like a jerky beef. Somewhere. It's kind of like jerky, yeah. I saw it and I was thinking of steak or like picanha or like something off the grill, but it's quite uh, different. Mm. Very good. And also, the beans is dry. White beans. You're right. The beans and don't have no sauce. In Rio, it's black beans. In Sao Paulo, it's brown beans. And in Bahia, it's white beans. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. Uh-huh, it's right. The cheese is good. Pretty good. I like it. Not bad. Not bad. I still prefer churrasco. You know? Yeah. This is a bit dry. Wow, what a nice moment we just had. The live streams, sometimes are just an adventure, you know? You get out there, poke your nose around, next thing you know, Jet Family sign in the window. Oh, <laughs> so nice! <laughs> so nice! Oh my god. Yeah, their car is parked there and they're swimming there. We'll go swim with them after. So nice, man. Sauji, to all of you watching. Saoji to everyone who made the Jet Fam possible. And I'm going swimming in the ocean in about 20 minutes. I'm in the ocean. No bathing suit, no problem. <laughs> I'm gonna bring the uh, European nudity to the beach. No I'm kidding. <laughs> Take the jar out. Someone says. Yeah. To make it less dry. Whoa, there will be two solar eclipses this year. Ooh. Is that right? Um, I think this year will be a magical year. Wow. Say more about that. Go, 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 go. Why, why, why? Just the feeling, you know? Uh huh. It's a feeling. Oh it's just God. a feeling. I can't tell. Yes. It's a feeling. Sometimes you cannot describe a feeling. You think this year will be magical? Yeah. Yo, we're having babies this year, Ivana. <laughs> it's more than that, too. It's more than that. Yeah. <laughs> when you said that, like, I got so happy. Mm. <laughs> Ivana, you're right, man. This year will be magical. I hate to say this, I don't want to be a downer. This kind of the soul is only okay. Do you love it? It's like steak, but... I like it, but I like... Corazon better. Corazon, Or churrasco, picanha. This is like, um... We gotta learn how to love it. We gotta use a green sauce, maybe. Don't be shy on a green sauce, you know? Literally, you have nine months to have this baby. <laughs> <laughs> Pressure. Ah, pressure's on. <laughs> uh, in the middle of the eclipse. Oh, we could have, we could have, a, we could have a sun baby. We could have a, a eclipse baby. We need a name for a Luna. baby inspired by the eclipse. Luna. Luna. Definitely Luna. Good food. I'm not gonna complain. It's okay. Very good. I wouldn't say very good. 
I say pretty good. Maybe because I was hungry. Yeah, the hunger makes it taste better, doesn't it? Mitch mm -hmm. son like baby. <laughs> <laughs> Remember I said I wasn't hungry? I'm very hungry. I know you. 2420 bills. Hold on. Alan just fumbled TD Dolphins. Oh, Dolphins are up. Woo, NFL. Uh, Brazil's solar eclipse will be on October 14th. Now, is a solar eclipse visible from every country? I think so. I don't know. I don't even know which one's solar, which one's lunar. I know one of them you can't see because you go blind. Right? <laughs> uh, my, my astronomy knowledge is on a test and I'm failing. Solar eclipse. It means the sun goes around the moon. Lunar eclipse means the moon goes behind the sun. Is that right? You can't watch directly at a solar eclipse. Okay, that's when you go blind. So the sun goes behind the moon, and because the moon's in the front, somehow you can't look at it. Take a video or something, but you can't look. Lunar eclipse, the moon goes behind the sun. Which, how is that possible? The moon's right here and the sun's over there. No, that ain't right. <laughs> Oh, the Earth, in the lunar eclipse, the Earth goes between the moon and sun. That's the idea. Guys, it's my birthday today. I would love a shout out. Yo, shout out to Maria Jamie. Dude. Happy birthday. Feliz aniversario. Feliz aniversario. La Muziani. And happy birthday to you, Maria. Mm -hmm. Saudi to you. Saudi. Woohoo. The food is not bad, guys. Maybe I was being a bit harsh, but it's it's just like dry beef, you know. It's not that dry. The thing is, I like it to be like raw, where it's like juice right? coming down your chin, you know. Uh, you happy like birthday. fatty meat, fatty meat, fatty juicy. You like the fat? Kind of, uh, kind of bloody. It sounds bad. I like it like uh, that, you know. I like fatty meat too. Just I like the fat on meat. Oh, uh -huh. the fat is so good. Meat without fat. I'll still eat it, but I rather eat fish. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Myra. The eyes before the arm. Myra. Happy birthday, Myra. La Muziani. Feliz aniversario. And I'm sorry for saying Maria. <laughs> it looked like Maria at first glance, but it's definitely Myra. Myra. The Jet Fam is growing and growing, Ivana. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are part of why I said this year will be magical. You are part of it. Was that part of it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Debatable. We'll see. Hey, Florian, shout out to Mayra's birthday. Saúl. Wow. Saúl to Florian to Mary, Mayra. 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 What a nice Saudi. moment. Leah's in the window with a sign. Mm -hmm. Wow. Keep the sign on the road trip. Put it on the road trip on that back window on the road trip. Oh, good sign for the car on the road trip. On the back passenger side window. On the left side, because I'll be in the right lane going slow. The back passenger side, put it there. Oh, very good. Thank you to the Jet Fam. Woo, shout out to the Jet Fam.
Yo, what a nice day. Sunday, my favorite day. Bonnie and I, on Sunday, we sleep in a little bit. Then I play games in the morning. By the way, I found a nice item in the game I play, but it's a size But I play my game this morning. Make some, make some popcorn, chill out, and then go jet fam it up. Just go jet fam it up on a Sunday. Very good. Very good. All right, Bono, are you done talking? I'm done. I'm out of words. Mm -hmm. Hold on, one more comment here. Please come to Espirito Santo. We've heard very good things about Espirito Santo. Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on. Myra. 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 Sorry, man. One birthday message failed three times in a row. See, Happy I was birthday. Saying it right. Excuse me, that. Myra. Myra. No? You're right. Yeah. <laughs> and then you said Myra. <laughs> I take it all back, Ivana. It seems like a lot of the time Ivana has the right pronunciation, and then I incorrectly correct her. <laughs> True, right? And then since then, I say the wrong thing. Sorry, Myra. Myra, happy birthday. Steve corrects. Look, Steve corrects Ivana's pronounce, but in the end, she's right. It's happened more than a few times. This 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 uh, flow of pronunciation. Oh, that was you. That was you. Attention. On the street is not very. On the street is not very safe to walk with a football team shirt. Okay. We go to the beach. I'm gonna be shirtless out there, just showing everybody my nice tan. And then I'm gonna um, go back. I wanted to wear this shirt because it's such a nice gift. This is a this is a good shirt. It's a it's a good quality shirt. It's like a real it's like a, it's like a game game quality shirt. You know, very nice. Saoji for the donation and the helpful advice. What a day. Sundays, man. Okay, next Sunday, what, what country will we be in? What country? What state will we be in? State. Uh, next Sunday, maybe in Alagoas. Alagoas. Okay. Maceo or Marajo. Marajo. Recipients in Pernambuco. Pernambuco. All right, stay tuned for next week, guys. Next week, we'll bring a list, like this week. And we'll see what friends we can make over there. If you are there, let us know. Mm. If anybody gives me a hard time with a shirt, I'll just say no fellow Portuguese. And they'll say, what? You're not like a fan? I'm like, I'm just a guy who my friend gave me a shirt. <laughs> I will play ignorant to the maximum, you know? No, I'm not, I'm not starting a fight. If someone brings a fight to me, I won't even participate in the fight, you know? But thanks for the, uh, the warning. What's the next destination after Brazil? We don't really know. We're thinking Cuba, we're thinking Jamaica, the flights well, are crazy. Depends on if we get our visa extension. We gotta see. We're still We're going to Aracaju on Thursday to get a visa extension. We tried to do it in Sao Paulo, but we couldn't get an appointment. Uh -huh. So we got an appointment in Aracaju. So let's see if we'll get our extension. If anyone in, is in Aracaju, let us know. Let us know. Or wait till the live stream wait, is it and show up halfway. Aracaju? Aracaju. One of them is a food and one of them is a place. Aracaju and Aracaja. Or Arajuka, or Arajuka, I don't know, I forgot. I know the food sounds like a Akaraje, Akaraje. Arakaju and Akaraje. Arakaju. That's the place. Akaraje Ar is the food. Akaraje? No, 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 it's not Akaraje. This is going to be another of those times where I connect, correct your pronunciation and do a wrong lead. Am I right or The right? food is Akaraje. The place is... Arakaju. 
Ivana is always right. <laughs> the Jet Fam is turning on me, Ivana. <laughs> yeah, Ivana's better at pronunciation than I might think. But when I hear her say it, I go, that's ah, not it. <laughs> Did you say Kishaza? You've been practicing. Watch this, watch this. She's been practicing Kishaza. She's really been practicing. Now I think I'm saying it better than Steve. Hit it. Kishaza. Oh. Pretty good. Yo, don't forget, if you're coming to Salvador, go to Vanessa's place. At the she, she put the name on the Airbnb. Yeah, book there. It's so good. Yeah. The location is unbeatable. Chris. It has Chris an outdoor is, Chris area. Is Chris Beach House. Chris is Vanessa's mom. Has an outdoor area that comes with a churrasco. They have a little grill there for you to make churrasco. It's got beach umbrella, it's got beach chairs. It's Top quality. Go there. All right, man. I'm done. I'm too happy to talk. Woo! All right, guys. Well, let's finish this food, and we'll join the That's lovely family at the beach. We'll enjoy the rest of the day. Steve, did you know the Cowboys are 0 7 against Brady in the playoffs? Yes, I knew that. It's the worst possible matchup we could have got. Mm -hmm. And to make matters worse, our corners are all injured like you wouldn't believe. We cannot defend the pass. And we got, the, we got Tom Brady. On paper, we should beat this team. But this is a classic game. The Cowboys go out there and lose. By the way, very strong beef flavor. There's very strong beef Saoji flavor. To, to Rick does. Ah, Saoji to you, Saoji. Saudi, Saudi. All right, I'm out of work. I love you guys. I'll see you on Sunday. We'll be in a new place. And thank you guys so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We're gonna finish this. We're gonna go to the beach with our friends. If you guys are is in uh, Maceo or Marajoji, please get us home. Tell you best. What's up? I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Me, ammo too. Nah, I am right. Mu ammo você. Mu mu você. I love you. Me ammo você. Eto ammo. Wrong. Couldn't, well. couldn't be more wrong. Love you guys. Uh, love you guys. Love you, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bejos. Love you. Love you guys. Just say go backers, Steve. Go Packers. Your shirts are matching. No. Packers are out, man. Cowboys going to win the Super Bowl. You mark my words. I'm kidding. But I hope we do. Love you guys. Bye.